Hey! Hello there. How are we all going? Ooh, here comes Nancy. <laughs> there we go, beautiful. Uh, yeah, how's everyone going? Uh, building up broken clock, awesome. Oh Love yeah, it. we can do a broken clock building puzzle. Hope so. Uh, tell us if the volume is on or off or weird or done. I think the microphone's a little bit softer than usual, so hopefully we're not too quiet. How come? Uh, I just turned it down at some point. Oh, okay. Sure. Why aren't you wearing your headphones? I don't need to listen to this. It's just... Like that. Hmm. Alright, well, let's do a warm-up quiz. Vocal warm-up. Awesome. What did children's TV <laughs> That's your vocal warm -up. character Mr. Squiggle have for a nose? Well, I know the answer to this Mr. Squiggle question. Cave Goblin, I assume you know that. I don't know how old Cave Goblin is. There could be two. Everyone knows Mr. Squiggle. They could, be, they could be nine years old, for all I know. We saw it in an artwork, like, yesterday as we were walking through North Sydney. Oh, did we? Okay, yeah. Mr. Squiggle is still Hi, very Grandma. much around as a presence. Now, Grandma, I remember in the last, uh, like, what, yesterday? No, day before yesterday's uh, Darkest Dungeon stream, your character was very effective or very terrible, and I can't remember which. Just I very do notable. remember you going, no, Little G, stop attacking Little G. Oh, yeah, you were being attacked. You were almost killed. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. All right, so what did Mr. Squiggle have for a nose? What did Mr. Squiggle have for a nose, everybody? No Australians may answer. <laughs> but it's one of the beginner questions. <laughs> right, we gotta speed through this. Tell it, Billy. Do we need to speed through this? Yes. Gotta get to the game. 59 to 99. Is that right? Yeah, see? What? Damn. Too young for squiggles. Mr. Squiggle, the, as a hint that in no way helps... He was a man from the moon. Yeah, that in no way helps. In no way helps, but it is true. His theme song was Mr. Squiggle, the man from the moon. Come yeah, on, let's go through it. we got to get through There's so many more questions. Uh, the answer is a pencil. He had a pencil for a nose. And he drew things often upside down and would hence have to say, it's upside down, Miss Pat. And Miss Pat would turn it the right way over. Which colour is most associated with communism? That was communism said in a weirdly strange way. It's a specific Simpsons episode. <laughs> and the answer, of course, Grandma is about to put into the chat. Here they go. Colour most, most closely associated with communism is... Fine. I'll type in the chat. Wait, I can't leave the window. Yeah, this is a bad I idea. can't leave the window. Don't, don't mess I'm it up. Stuck. Come on, let's skim through. I want to go quickly. I want to get to this Nancy. Okay, color associated with communism? It's red. Let's. <laughs> in Greek mythology, the Minotaur is half man, half what? Min. That's probably the man part, right? Probably, yes. It's half. T Wait, oh, no, but, but centaur. So he's half what men. What are you saying Sen is? I guess Sen means horse. <laughs> and Min means bull. Uh, anyway. Yeah, see, that's what I would have thought. But what about a minute? Uh, what about a centaur? It's a centurion mm -hmm. bull. You can watch the stream. What are they going to do? Fire you? Get out of here. Make everyone watch it at work. What is the first planet in our solar system alphabetically? Ooh, what is the first planet alphabetically? Is it just, is it just us? Yeah. How funny. We're the first alphabetically. How many sides does a rhombus have? Rhombus. That's not the answer. The answer is four. Alright. Ooh. Na na naka, nakre, N-A-C-R-E. Not sure what language that comes from, so I don't know how it's pronounced. Is also known as mother of what? Oh, okay. There's only mother of one thing. Yeah, there's only phrase. mother of one thing. Yeah. 
Which is which is Pearl, by the Mother way. of Pearl. Mother of Pearl. Who played Liz Lemon on the TV show 30 Rock. Yeah, have a good time, Anna. Yeah, good yeah, absolutely. Thank you for stopping in, even if it couldn't be for very long. Watch the VOD. It'll be great. When you post it, oh, you can no, watch it. You can watch it. Yeah, who played Liz Lemon in 30 Rock? Uh, the answer's right there, it's Tina Fey. Thanks. Yes. Trixie Pixie O Thrixie. I made a joke. What are the two ingredients in a Bellini cocktail? Ooh. I don't know the alcoholic ingredient. Oh, what's the non alcoholic? Well, they're made of peaches. Ah, peaches and. So peach juice, I guess. Yeah, alright, peach. Probably peach nectar. Peach nectar. And just like gin. Oh. I would have said something. Oh, uh, champagne is a suggestion here. That makes more sense. Yeah, one of the fancier ones, either champagne or vodka. I don't know if they're fizzy or not. Uh, they are fizzy. It is champagne and peach juice. Good, good pick. Mrs. Hudson is the landlady of which famous literary character? I believe I know this one. Is that Holmes? I think it is Holmes. I think it's Sherlock Holmes. Yes. Better Boy, Campari, and Jubilee are all types of what? I thought Campari was another alcohol. Yeah, are we confusing that with something else? How specific do they want? Nope, okay. It's not the alcohol. Better Boy, Campari, and Jubilee are all types of what? All types of Tina Fey? Oh, that's wrong, Trixie. <laughs> you got it wrong. Oh. Yeah, I had no idea of this one. I think I saw the good. answer. Good. I'm glad to know that I wasn't totally off track with oh, that. Oh, good. Because apparently it's what? Was it say tomato? tomato. And it's tomatoes. I don't know my food varieties. All right, alacrisi refers to a dish that contains which ingredient? Oh, uh, it contains the French province of Crisi. Ah. Is that a province? I know there was a battle there. Oh, really? Okay. I know there were bowmen related to that battle. All right, so... There's a book called The Bowmen of Crisi. Okay, so what food stuff might Crisi have been really... Grease. They need grease. Okay. That's why they're greasy. Okay, so lots of butter, we're saying. Uh, I have no idea. Carrot. Okay. Carrot. <laughs> How many syllables are in a traditional haiku? Uh, well. Assuming an English translation. Yes. So you could have 15, I suppose, in Japanese. No, theoretically, you could have oh, yeah, fewer, or couldn't you? Yeah, you could. I don't know how few you could get away with. Yeah, how many you, things could have ends after them? I suppose you could go one, two, three in the first three, line, theoretically. Three in the last. You know what? Line. This is stupid. It's this seventeen. Is stupid. It's seventeen. A creature that is edentulous lacks which feature? Dentist. That's one of the hard ones. That would be teeth. What does a vigneron produce? Vigneron. I mean, the mm -hmm. V-I-G-N makes it seem it like, looks wine. like wine. It looks like wine. I've never a heard of that. Is a vigneron just a winemaker? Sort Ooh. of. I mean, yeah, get out of here. Oh, they make wine grapes. So, yeah, wine. Get out of here. Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream is set in which country? Ooh. Did everybody, did everybody know where Midsummer this Night's Dream is set? This is the last question. This we'll is let the big you one. answer it. <laughs> Pre-wine. <laughs> where is... Shakespeare's Midsummer Night's Dream. I think I know. I definitely know. Yeah, well, you were in it. Yeah. I, I have read it, so I'm pretty sure I know. I mean, with a character named Theseus. True. And... Yeah, it feels... Lysander? Like gets it. No, the other names don't help even a little Helena? bit. Helena? Not at all. It's in Athens, right? Yes, so, Greece. Uh, because in the uh, opera that I was in, it says, uh, My lord, I shall reply amazedly, I went with Hermia thither, our intent was to be gone from Athens, Excellent. where we might, without the perils of Athenian law. So there you are. Well done. That's how it goes. All right, we actually did pretty well, then. If you count our pre-wine, <laughs> <laughs> then we only got two wrong, just tomatoes and creasy. Wonderful. All right, All right, let's do a clap. So, everybody, welcome 
Uh, welcome to a new Nancy Drew. We are playing Nancy Drew's Secret of, secrets of the Old Clock or Secrets yeah, of the Old Clock? something like that. That'll, Let's that'll find out how way. many secrets there are. Uh, so we're going to do some Old Clock secrets. Uh, most of you, I think, are here from previous Nancy Drews. But if you're not, hi. Welcome to more Nancy Drew. Uh, and if you're enjoying these, tell everybody about them. And get them all to come and join the Nancy Drew gameplay. you got to spread the word. When we do it, we seem mean. When you do it, it seems like cool fan support so go and tweet about us or post us about us on reddit all right <laughs> oh cave goblin we must have been talking to cave goblin 2 earlier um, oh no i haven't been paying attention to the number at all yeah this is the third Does it change there's a new cave goblin every time uh okay i think we're ready okay let's new it up yeah. game style Welcome to my latest case, the secret of the old Oh, it's only single secret. Style, no. Choose okay. junior or senior That's detective. fine, I guess. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, click <laughs> on tutorials. Uh, here we go. Everybody ready for a senior detective? Because that's me. Imagine the choosing junior. Oh, oh, the place? The, place, the, road, the road to, to Titusville, Titusville. Where we find Nancy Drew behind the wheel of her blue roadster, pondering this question. Crandall. Why did Emily Crandall... A girl whom Nancy knows only through oh, their so mutual nice, friend, Tracy. Helen Corning, asked Nancy to drive all the way out to the Lilac Inn to see her. Does it have something to do with the fact that Emily's mother died barely a month earlier, leaving Emily to run the restaurant with only her guardian to help her? And more important, why, when she called, did Emily sound so desperate? She's got long fingers. The spunky teenager turns off the main road, blissfully unaware that Emily isn't all that waits her at the end of the driveway. No, Nancy Drew is Getting about to get dizzy. her first taste of the mystery, intrigue, and adventure that are to become her destiny. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry about that. Ooh, this is Nancy Robot because she's still alive in 1930. Uh, so this is Nancy Drew's first case. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah, so this is the first case. This is like the first story, even though it's not the first game, right? Because the first game was Secrets Can Kill. Old clocks. I think so. Secrets can kill old clocks. Was the first game. Uh, is this the first thing? Oh, what do I have here? Oh, I've got a tubby map. telegrams. Tubby telegrams. What? What have you? What? <laughs> tubby telegrams. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so here we have a lovely map. There's the Muskoka River, the wrecks, Zippy Gas, all this fun stuff. Uh, why did we come here? Oh, Dad's because rules of the road. Because she told us to. Oh no, there's a fuel gauge. So someone just said, hey, my mum's dead. I have a restaurant. Come hang out, Nancy. It's an um, inn, not a restaurant. Well, let's go. Ooh, that's pretty. The music's nice, too. Yeah, maybe this will be one of those cases where they didn't get better over time with the games. They put all their effort into the early ones. I'm not dropping a nickel into the slot. I've only got $3.50. Hello. I said drop a nickel into the slot, please. I didn't expect that. Oh, it's a nickel button. There we go. Now, how may I do <laughs> Soivis. Uh, ooh. Uh, oh, well, I guess I'll talk to Carson Drew, sorry. Dad. Carson Drew. His number is KL57187. Hang on a minute. You can't even put in a number on your own. It's 1930. It's amazing. Hi, Dad. Well, I see you got to Titusville, okay. Yeah, I'm calling Dad. He said call as soon as I get here, Danny. Whatever. Ran like a top. The car ran like a top. I'm from 1930. It's a fine car. You treat it well, it'll treat you well. Listen, as it turns out, I just called there and left a message for you to call me. You did? I need to get some documents from a colleague over there. I thought since you were in the area, you could pick them up, save them paying postage. Sure. What's, What's the, the address? address? Tubbies? He said he'd just leave yes. them for you at the <laughs> Just drive into town and look for Tubby Telegrams. He said you can't miss it. Will do. These papers are extremely important. She has no reflection. She up, sometimes Dad. has a blurred uh, reflection, remember, or maybe that's just part of her tricks. And get gas when you're low, so you don't run out. And try to avoid potholes. The more I just read this. The likely it is you'll wind up with a flat. Yes, Dad. I'm not enjoying this build-up to a driving mini game. And put on your spare, and then head straight to a gas station and get it fixed. Yes, Dad. All right, lecture over. Have you found out why Miss Crandall asked you to visit? I wanted to call you first. You've done your daughterly duty. <laughs> now go see Emily. And after that... I know, I know. Pick up those documents. That's my girl. Goodbye, Dad. Has anyone Take both care. played the game and read the book? To compare them? 
I mean, has anybody ever read a Nancy Drew book? Obviously, I mean... you only play the game. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, listen to that music. Yeah, this Hello. is the one that was book-based, but Drew. I have no idea how book-based. I bet my bloomers you Nancy Drew. That's right. Are you Emily's guardian? You got it. I'm Jane Willoughby. I'm Emily's guardian, but only for the next three months until she turns 18. Then she's on her own. I'm leaving. Packing up mm. and going. It smells like someone's been baking <laughs> pies. Pies are the lilac in Oh, most of them? Oh, really? Yeah, okay. I think so. Oh, that reminds me your father called. You're supposed to call him. You can use the coin phone on the porch. I like her voice. I already talked to him, but thanks for the message. Emily didn't say anything about you coming until just this morning. It? She didn't? Oh. Don't get me wrong. Fine, I get no say in the options. 1930, you think you get a say in the options? Is she all right? Well, now that's hard to say. Well, she no, misses her mom, that's say. for sure. So do I. Glory and me, we were best friends, you know? The two of us ran this swell little dress shop over I love in her. Capital City. But then she got hitched and I didn't. And the next thing I know, she's writing me saying it would sure take a load off her mind if I could take care of her little girl should something ever happen to her. I didn't pay any attention to this because I was reading the comments of, Al of Al's. Uh, going to do... She got hitched? Oh, wait, that's the mother. Not the, not the 17 year old daughter. And I didn't, the next thing I know, she's writing me saying it would take a load off her mind, take care of her little girl, something going to happen to her. Uh, Emily's father. Sure. Emily's father. Died in the war. Cantigny, I think. Anyway, Crazy? I couldn't Crazy. say no. I mean, what are best friends for? I just wish I knew how to help Emily. You make it sound well, like she's, she's in some, some kind, kind of, of trouble. trouble. She's been acting so... Since they didn't know there was another war. <laughs> talk to her. She probably just needs to <laughs> he spend died in that war that ended all wars. Like you instead of some dumb Dora like me. Oh, she thinks she's, she's a dumb Dora. Just make like a Boy Scout and be prepared. Da, 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 da. This is really great. Yeah, can we just listen to the music all day? There's a room. Oh, can I go this room? Let's go this room. Uh, ooh, what's here? <coughs> Hello, Hello, sign language becoming widespread. Oh no, there are symbols. We're gonna have to know those symbols. Here's some hobo sign Should language. Should I write them down? Uh, oh. You know what? Yeah, why not? Let's get started with a bang. You write down all of these oh, man. hobo sign language. Look at that irony that they've got going there. Where? Uh, President Hoover, economic recovery is, is imminent. imminent. Ninth planet discovered, named Pluto. Is it really a planet? <laughs> Who can say? Little more than a tiny rock, says government officials. Probably won't be a planet for long, they say. Main Street 5 and 10 force to close up shop. Huge media lands in Arkansas. They love meteors. Radio scene is one of the biggest branches of the show business. 20 million listeners predicted in coming decade, experts say. All right, great music, great door. Exactly. Take a look at some of these symbols. All right, hit the road is like a circle with two lines. Like, hey, you, go hit that road. Circle with an X is, it's a good place for a handout. A uh, hat, a top hat is, a kind gentleman lives here. A little cat is, a kind woman lives here. And, and, and a circle with an arrow the other way is like, that. don't go this way. A circle with an arrow the forward way is, hey, go this way. Uh, water with an X and two circles is, peach water. I mean, it's, it's, it's fresh water. Uh, and then the one with the thingy on top is, oh, that's bad water. Uh, a little omega on its side is, this order's in. Uh, two over ten is, there are thieves about, one over five. Um, a little, a little thing that looks like a thieves mask is, keep quiet. A Wario moustache is, there's a barking dog here. Uh, some kind of squampus under a dwinkus is, dangerous neighborhood. Uh, if, if you're going upwards, the sky's the limit. We need a special sign to say the sky's the limit. Yeah, I can't see what the date is. It's exactly 1930, April 27th, is that what it says? Uh, yes. Yep. Uh, a little uh, a little dot with a <laughs> semicircle is authorities here are alert and a circle is oh <laughs> so there you are sorry still drawing are you still drawing bad water 
I don't know the order in which you've decided to draw these, but... I'm going in order. You went from... I'm going down. Oh, I see. Uh, how many we got? Just the last little couple to go? Yeah. These are probably not going to be in any way relevant. Four. You really think that mysterious symbols... No, they will be relevant. I mean, we might get a guide to them. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think us the reading this sky's newspaper. The is the gonna... limit. Yeah, who needs a special sign for the sky's the limit? Like these all seem really like helpful. Like it's like signs to leave around the town to give advice to other people who are also homeless. But why would you need to give advice as the sky's the limit? All right, I've got them all. All right, here we go. Radio scene is one of the biggest I've read that already. Show business, eh? I was gonna expand. I was gonna expand. That looks President Roosevelt. Cool. Pretty sure it's he died. Like magazine. I'm a horse. I don't want to read about this horse. But he's so clever. Is he the counting horse? Uh, yes, he's yes. the counting horse. So I, I think this is real. Funkst. Yep. There's a famous counting horse. All right, what else is going on in here? <laughs> oh, is this some kind of Zoltan machine? Even better. Oh, no, it's a... Oh, Bard what? Bounce. Bard Bounce. It's a Midsummer game Night's based Dream. on Minda Hover Night's Dream. By W.M. <laughs> Shakespeare. William <laughs> William Shakespeare. Aris, move each man to the woman with whom he belongs. Love it. Are we playing a game of Bard Bounce? It only costs a nickel, let's do it. Oh my goodness, okay, we have to know who the people are. Okay, well, from I, think faces. We just, I think we're just going to go colour to colour, yeah, right? Yeah, surely. That's Oberon and Titania. Yeah, of course. That's, uh... That's got to be uh, Helena and Demetrius. Helena and Demetrius? So what, that'll be Lysander and... Hermia, and Hermia. the others are... Uh, the Duke, Theseus, Theseus and... and the Minotaur. What's her name? What's the I'm stuck on Athena What's because we know her in Athos. What's the Athens? She's a contralto in the Benjamin Britten opera. Um, I don't know. All right, so what happens? You move them up. You move them in a direction, and yeah, all of them move. I, I, I don't know. All the dudes move together. Click that's, one. No, oh, just one. Oh, that's even better. Okay, well let's do this. Hold on. Look at this great strat. Boom. This is fun. Uh, I'm going to get this guy stuck in the corner. Yeah, so don't do that. I don't know how to solve this. Uh, beep. Bop. Boop. Uh, beep. This is relaxing. I'm having fun already. Bop. I think I've like I can inkling my way there, but I can only inkling my way there with three options. So once we get another one in, I wouldn't know what to do. Yeah, I'm not uh, super happy about where. Like I'm right going. now, you can get the green one in if you move yellow like somewhere else. Oh really? How? By putting them up there and then down. But how do I get the green one up there? Okay, like move oh, him over it, and around so like if the other one's out of the way. And I can go Squimbus, Squampus. Yeah, so I can do them individually. Squampus. I don't know if it's it's going to be that easy Squampus. to get them all in place. Like maybe it would have been better to leave him there for a while since we oh, knew no. that. But now I can get blue and then I won't be able to get yellow. Yeah. Well, now blue is set up. Exactly. Oh, no, I need to get blue over here. That would have been perfect. Because then yeah, I could drop the idea. yellow on top and then drop the blue and the yellow. Okay, okay. So that'd be a good final position. Oh, hold on. I can do that. Can I move them once they're already in? Yeah, okay, cool. So I'll take blue up and then blue left. Done. And then I can go yellow, yellow, yellow. And now throw the yellow in, throw the blue in. Hey, Jen. I did it. Woo! Yeah, we won Shakespeare. Keen! That's so good! 
Too bad I don't get anything for it. But yeah, at least now we'll when we actually later. now when the game actually tells us to do this. We got the mechanics. We'll know how Damn. to do it. Alright, upstairs. I love the photos they use in these games. Let's be a thief. Let's be oh, there she is. Don't look at her. Yeah, this is awkward. Read our diary instead. So. Use our sewing wheel machine. Sewing wheel machine. Take an umbrella. Yeah, Nancy isn't being nearly as snoopy as usual. Look at these shoes you could steal. Can't even play our albums. Can't even steal a hat. Check out these drawers. Can't look at any of the drawers. Oh, wait. Oh. Uh, okay, maybe we can't snoop into her talk. Or at yes? least until she's not Hi. in the room. Welcome to the Lilac Inn. Oh, and oh before boy. I forget, thank you for that nice note you sent me when mom died. It meant a lot to me. A little awkward. Oh, she did? Okay. Learning about Nancy. Yeah. Well, the person that Nancy Robot replaced, at least. Ago. I kind of know how you feel. You and I may not be best friends or anything. Oh, James is playing Danger by Design. Oh, man. Did you not watch out Danger by Design? I can't remember. Were you were here when we were doing that, or were you not? Are you trying to play it before you watch ours, or are you playing it after watching ours? I can't remember. I have no memory of a week ago. But either way, did not see ours. Oh, okay, All right, cool. Well, play it, have fun comparing, have fun with the ending. Yeah. Don't say much. Like, I won't say anything else. I really want to know your opinion. So please, as soon as you've finished it, come back to us and tell us everything. What are you up to? Yeah, what are you up to? <laughs> wow. Well, thank you. That's why I'm hoping you'll do me a favor. A big favor. You and your dad. What kind of favor? Yeah, cookies. Cookies. Shh. Oh, shh. Everyone, shh. Look at her nails. What's wrong? She's a gremlin. I thought I heard something. Your father has a safe, right? <laughs> this is 1930. Lots of people have safes. See this jewelry? I'd like you to take it home with you and put it in your father's safe. It's beautiful. It was my mother's. The few times I saw her wear it, she looked just like a movie star. I was hiding it here in my room, but all things considered, I'd feel a lot better if you would just take it home and have your father lock it up in his safe. All things considered. So she's meant to be 17. Yep. Clearly 17 years old. Eesh. What do you mean, all things considered? Strange things have been going on around here. That's all I can say. I know it sounds loony, and Jane probably told you that I've been acting loony, but please do this for me. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> cockroaches. Ah! Emily, come downstairs, quick! The kitchen's on Another fire! Another Jane setting come kitchens on, on fire. Come <laughs> Is that a reference? Was it a reference in Blackmore? I wonder if it was. It was a little reference. Yeah, Nancy Drew fails for not this going into the kitchen. Just horrible. This is the exactly the same. The stove was completely yeah. destroyed, and there's smoke damage everywhere. The inn will have to shut down for months, maybe even for good. I kind of thought the kitchen was back there where the plates are. Yeah. Clearly, the top one. I care about money. Oh, the cockroaches as well. God, the cockroaches took us so long. They were a pain. Does he know what caused the explosion? <laughs> it looked to him like one of the burners on the stove had been left on. Yeah. The flame either went out or was never lit, but anyway, something made a spark and boom. He said insurance companies are very reluctant to pay out when things look hinky. And that's when times are good. Who's in the kitchen this morning? Sure. Who was in the kitchen? I'm a kitchen detective. This I want to detect these things. Emily was the last person who used the stove. Like I said, she's been real forgetful lately. I think she's pretty upset, but it's not her fault. What with her mom passing away barely a month ago and me showing up, this total stranger who doesn't know the first thing about kids or running a restaurant and her trying to do everything all by herself. It's she's just too lovely. much, that's all. Who wouldn't go a little off their nut? I better get that. 
The line to the regular phone got burned up in the fire. So now the only phone we got is the coin phone on the porch. Excuse porch. me. Okay. Oh, no. Emily? Run, run, Nancy. What's happened, Emily? Kick the door. Open it. Get in there. It's a much My more cinematic jewelry. opening. Yeah. It's gone. Oh, I love Someone it. It's the mystery of the stolen jewelry. Fair enough. I love it. I knew something like this was going to happen. I just knew it. <laughs> <laughs> you mean this sort of thing has happened before? Yeah, like but we have decorative I mean, plates no, that I got from I my grandmother, and they they still live in this. the kitchen. I did not leave the stove on. That fire was not my fault. Oh, what am I going to do? Without that jewelry, I don't have a prayer of paying for a new stove. And without a stove, I'll have to sell the inn. And if I lose the inn, I wish Mom were still here. I wish Josiah Crowley had left us the money like he always <gasps> said he was going. That's what I wish. Who's Josiah Crowley? He was this old man that lived next door. He died last year. He spent most of his time here at the inn. And he led my mom and me to believe that he'd left a lot of money Ooh, okay. for us in his will. He gave us a clock, and afterwards, he'd always point to it and get this little twinkle in his eye and say, Time will tell. But when they finally found his will, he didn't leave us a penny. It is true, it's fairly obvious that jewelry was going to go missing. But it's still fun to be part of the mystery, Jan. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta you got to react appropriately. Did he have any family? Did he have any family? No, he always said Mom and I were his family. Josiah was kind of a screwball. <laughs> One time he showed up at my birthday party dressed as my great aunt Harriet. I didn't know it was really him until two days later. Anyway, he had all these weird hobbies, and he always thought it would be really keen to read minds. Josiah oh. invited Richard Topham to move in so Topham could help him develop his paranormal Okay, and Topham stole right all his money. In his house. Josiah Sounds was like a it. sweet old man, and I do miss him. And he was free to give his money to whomever he wanted. But to get our hopes up like that, and then leave us nothing... Wow, Nancy really cares about insurance. Like him. Should we ask about this, the question that would actually help solving a case? Or should we ask about Topham? She's a 17-year-old, she probably thinks that it was entirely her secret. Alright, let's ask about Topham. Where is Richard Topham now? He still lives in Josiah's <laughs> house, which is right down the path out back. His house and the inn were built at the same time by two brothers during the Civil War. Uh, built at the same time by two brothers? There is the most secret underground path between these two yeah, houses. Absolutely. How many people knew you kept your sneeze. mother's jewelry awesome. in here? Just prepping you all. No one. Well, See? Jane, my guardian, she knew, but I didn't tell anyone else. I'm not going to ask about insurance. I just refuse on, on, on principle to ask about your stupid <laughs> jewelry insurance. Yeah, like, what are the, like, what's the <laughs> response to me? Isn't your jewellery insured? Like, I was going to say no, or she's going to say yes, but they've decided that if it looks like it was stolen, that's not covered. <laughs> they only cover if the jewellery spontaneously combusts, because they're insurers who are all bad. So I'm going to say I'll be back in a little bit. I'll be back in a little bit. You're the bee's knees. Or they'll only, they'll only, uh... Re recoup the loss of the jewelry if you can find the culprit, solve the crime, <laughs> recover all the jewelry, and jewelry, and then they don't have to pay it anyway. Yeah, of course it is, but I refuse on principle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Let us check your hat. Yeah, let us check your hat. What if the jewels are under drawer? there? Yeah, what if you just put them in this drawer yeah. by accident? Or on purpose. Should I ask about the insurance? If should you like, can now. Should be like, Richard I Topham guess. owns the insuring <laughs> company. Was your mother's jewelry insured? Gosh, I forgot about that. I don't know. Jim right. Archer, I bet he'd know. He's our banker. I guess I should go talk. I don't know if... I mean, it's 30, so I'm sure it's different. Happy about mm -hmm. it. I don't know, the idea of going so to a banker to find out if your jewels were insured surprises me a little. Ah, she's 17. Hmm. She's no good at it either. Maybe you could go talk to him. Please, it would be such a big So he's just a general sure. financial business yeah. manager, you not just a banker. Or well, he runs the bank. And he owns the insurance company. Yeah, geez, and he owns okay. the local jewellery store. And he's a f known fence. And he's Richard Topham. 
And he was Josiah. I kind of like the way we did that. Like we had a full concerned conversation, walked away for a moment, then came back, came back. just to ask. Oh, that and one question. more thing. One more thing. Was your jewelry insured? Oh, ha 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 ha. Is that gonna? Oh, hold on. Is that gonna be like a secret code? Probably not, right? Probably not. Yet. I stole the jewels. Doesn't the I mouth of that... Is that a gramophone? Yes. Doesn't the mouth of it just look like a Monet painting? It does. Monet stole the jewels. Oh, jewels. The ruby... Okay. Okay. Read this, and pretty soon this fellow will be your favorite poet too, from Josiah. Who's Gloria? Is that the mother? Probably. Probably. Okay. Myself, when young, did eagerly frequent Doctor and Giant and her that great say giant. It says giant. It's a saint. <laughs> about it and about, <laughs> but ever more. Go out by the same door where in I went. Okay. With them the seed of wisdom did I sow, and with mine own hand wrought to make it grow, and this was the harvest that I reaped. I came like it's water. It's not reaped when the I e know. is not there. I came like water and like wind I go. This is not the appropriate voice as well for a, a Middle Eastern poet. You don't know that. Yeah, it's alright. It's, 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 uh... That's true, I don't, but it's a lot of 1930s, who knew what the British were doing in that area? Is that a real thing, the Rubio? I don't know. When you and I are behind the. I assume that's Veil, are past. Oh, with the long, long while the world shall last. Which, about coming and departure, heeds as the sea's self should heed a pebble cast. Oh, that's sad. It's a real book. Okay, good to know. How oh, interesting. He's a, it's a, he's Iranian. He's Persian. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna stop reading because it just really gets into death. Oh, I was confusing him with Khalil Gibran, who wrote the who wrote the Prophet. Oh, well, that was foolish of you. Because look at the cover of the Prophet, and how much it looks the same. Like, look at these. Like, look at look at look at the similarities. That's fair. All right. Um. Okay. Yeah. So they start talking about death a lot. All right. Well, let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ooh. Is this your sewing machine? Actually, that belonged to my mom. She and Jane used to be dressmakers. Mom was going to teach me how to use it, but she, she never got the chance. <laughs> Why not? She, <laughs> she died. <gasps> when? <laughs> okay. Ooh, more hats. Man, I cannot steal any hats. I don't even understand what's the point of this game. Oh, it looks like I can't really go to any of those extra rooms. Okay, okay. Wait, wasn't one of those people on the wall a famous person? I don't know which famous person, but oh, you'll never see it. I'll see it if it's the last thing I see. That no guy? One? Yeah, probably. He looks famous. <laughs> Secret of the old hat. Whenever you're looking for a robot, the scalp is the most obvious place. Is that true? Uh, right, I guess we'll head out. I guess we got some people to we got talk people, to. We got next door neighbors to talk to. We got bankers yeah. to talk to. We got. We don't have to drive to next door, do we? I don't think so. I think we just cross this path. Nice. We can do some good bird watching here. Look, look, Catch look. it! Got it. Oh. Looks like someone recently had a key appraised. I'm Larson P. Waddle. I'm a certified jeweler. Received okay. on March 11, 1930, one metal key. Who the current reset value. Key, the jeweler. You don't know how old the key 
key is. It's 1930. What if the key was from 1802? Then it would have been recent enough that they wouldn't care. Okay. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of direction. Is this the house that I wanted to go to? Oh, Ooh, a barn. Let's explore this barn. RHPH. RHPN. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, RHPN doesn't matter. Canny. Panny. Lanny. Tanny. Lanny. Ranny. Alright. That's a puzzle. That's cool, that's cool. Yeah, they only discovered metal like 20 years before they discovered plastic. They thought it was going to boom, but... Oh, look at this. The Topham School for the Development... For the Study and Development of Paranormal Powers. Ugh. Topham Boy. Hat. Oh, we don't even have to knock. Over here, Miss Drew. Find the toy mouse and give it to Yuri, would you please? Yuri. Otherwise, he'll just keep meowing. He hates strangers. Wait, in the 1930s... Yeah, Yuri Gagarin named himself after this cat. Yuri Gagarin? Not Yuri Gagarin. That's the wrong person. Yuri Geller. Yuri Gagarin was the first man in space. Find the toy mouse yet? I believe it's by the table. No, that's a bird. Now let's find the cat. Oh, there he is. Oh, wait, the cat. Oh, I see. Oh, it's so cute! Okay, he's not cute anymore. Yeah, what he is, is up with his face? What a beautifully animated cat! <laughs> How did he know her name? He must be psychic. <gasps> Excuse me. Guess I'd better ask permission. Oh, Nancy. Since when? How nice oh of you God. to drop by. And thank you for walking instead of parking in the driveway. I'm expecting a pupil. I'd hate for her to have to park on the road. Oh, man. He's so How gross. How did you know who I was? How did you know who Why I did you was? even ask that? If one is to teach others how to develop and use their paranormal gifts, it's only logical that one must possess such gifts oneself. <laughs> I don't know. Does that mean you can read minds or tell the future Does that mean or what you can exactly? Read minds or tell the future or what exactly? The paranormal includes telepathy or communicating by sending and receiving oh, okay. thoughts, extrasensory perception, sure. or sure. perceiving that which cannot physically be seen or heard. And psychokinesis, mm -hmm. using one's psychic energy to reach to steal jewels. Objects. The second one is just straight up not true. Really, he was going caressing an invisible girlfriend is not a trance. No, it is. Jeepers, you can do. All I just that? really wanted to say jeepers. Yes. Well, on occasion. Midsummer Night's Dream is on his shelf. Oh my god, they're obsessed with Midsummer Night's Dream. Is simply a matter of practice. I'm okay with that because we started with Midsummer Night's Dream quiz. Yeah, this is Great. the Midsummer Night's Dream day. Does everyone have? I Nancy wants to learn how to be a psychic detective. Fair enough. Does everyone have paranormal? Just like in the game powers? Psychic Detective. To some degree, yes. The goal of the Topham School for the Study and Development. Anyone of can be a student. To here. It only costs uh, as long as you have five thousand dollars. We wouldn't limit our client pool. Designed to help them increase their output of fantastic Fantasmic energy. If you want to sign up for an introductory session, I believe I have an opening today. What I really like to do is talk about Josiah Crowley. Oh, I'm afraid I'm busy, young lady. You didn't know I'm this. Too busy to engage in idle yeah, as, okay. If you're going to pretend to be a psychic, why isn't every single aspect of your entire conversation just like, I thought you might say that. Hmm. I thought you might say that. <laughs> well, I thought you might say that. Yeah, let's have a conversation, Danny. <laughs> Trustworthy steeple fingers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here, let's have a go. How are you going? Are you going? Wait. Sorry. Right, look, I'm the psychic. How are you? I'm a little confused. <laughs> I thought you might say that. Yeah. That's it. Then why didn't you say it for me? Save me the trouble. <laughs> Mine are not a gift to flaunt, like the common folk. <laughs> it's a an art form. 
One that I have People been... don't flaunt their art. <laughs> I thought you might say that. <laughs> See, that's how you do it. <laughs> that's how you get water thrown in your face. <laughs> I thought you might do that. You're not trying to hide something, are you, Mr. Topham? <laughs> you throw water in his face, and then he goes, that the more time I spend with the, Water. Uh, as I say, suspected. Intellectually unendowed, like that. The more my cerebral pulsations seem to diminish, I'm afraid I cannot speak to you further unless and until you prove uh. that you are worthy. That is, that your brainwaves are not unacceptably inferior and thus deleterious to mine. How would I do that? How would I Robots do that? can't take offense. What I have no. here is an exercise in logic puzzle. If you can discern the correct sure. solution, then I'll know that conversing with you will do me no psychic harm. I mean, it's out of bull, but at least they're giving a reason for someone to make you do a puzzle. And good day. <laughs> I hope this was in the book. <laughs> wet, 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 wet. <laughs> oh, cool. So this is just gonna be. Just like a logic puzzle. Just first of all, does the page turn? Yep. Ah, oh, cool. L L O D. To doll up. Am I smart or what? Doll up. Double cross. I love this. Double cross. I'm getting there. I love this so much. Alright, uh, what, do, what do we say? What is this? No, I don't want help. <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying, I'm not giving people time to answer themselves while we answer ourselves. Just giving some, uh, what is this? Why are they? I mean, it looks exactly the same as the other one. Yeah, does it just dry up? Could be. That looks right. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, they just want two words, I guess. Am I smart or what? All right, big cheese. Okay, so, so now, all we've got to do is wet, 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 They all have boxes, don't they? No. Yes. yes. Okay. okay. Uh, very wet. You already tried that. Um. Wet all over. Thing. That looks right. Oh my god, that's a thing. That looks right. All right, screw it. Take it back to him. <laughs> it's too back. I was I was starting to think that. Had to get into a more thirties mindset. Am I to assume that you have the correct solution to that logic problem? I think I do. Let's have a look. This Why, is you tense. To have indeed found the solution. Being well, mocked. Since you've proved yourself to be intellectually above average, which means talking to you should do me no harm, what would you like to talk about? I'm so glad that that was a part of the game. Uh, what happy. would you like to talk about? When and how did you meet Josiah Crowley? No, no, let's get some gossip in first. Explosion. Did you hear about the explosion and fire at the Lilac Inn this morning? I heard the explosion and fire ruined by nine. Nine o what, Danny? Nine o what? Nine o what? Sorry, just take a moment to look at his eyes. For starters, they're different, but that's cool. But one of them is significantly more frightening than the other. Which one do you think is a more frightening eye? His left eye, so the one on the right side of the screen. Okay. Seriously, hold up a hand in front of half of him. One half is totally fine. I do not see the difference so much. Are you kidding? Cover his left eye, he looks like a smooth Bond villain. Oh, you know who he is? But on the other end, he's got a robot eye. You know who he is? Hmm? He's Elaine's boss. He is! He's Peterman! He's Peterman. Ah! This is Peterman. Does everybody know Peterman? Peterman everyone... gets the crazy eyes. Everybody watch enough Seinfeld? Apparently Australia really likes Seinfeld. Apparently it's a very Australian thing that everybody has seen every episode of Seinfeld. Is that right? Yeah, I don't know. Like, obviously, it's, obviously it was a huge show everywhere. Well, you... But I think it was because in Australia we just, like, only had Seinfeld on TV yeah, every day for years and years and years. So apparently, it's a bit like, compared to, like, like British people, 
Australia just like oh yeah obsessed with Seinfeld. And yeah, other UK are. is totally different. They have all of their quiz shows. Even the US they don't just need like, to watch other Seinfeld stuff sometimes. And then the US just has the glut of a zillion shows to choose from, whereas we only get the big ones. It was always on, right? You know, on Australian <laughs> TV, there was always Seinfeld. Seven on. o'clock every night. And like five o'clock sometimes, just all night, all night every night. TV was just Seinfeld. Um, I don't know why. I would do that. I would have recordings. So if I was going to be out for the evening, I would set up the VCR to record from like I would leave at about seven o'clock, maybe six fifty-five. So I'd catch the end of Neighbors, then all of Seinfeld, then the new Simpsons episode. That's what I was really hoping for, and then just shoot me afterwards. Oh, British TV shows, hey? Well, he looks like... Yeah, um... No one. No. There's no British man who looks like this. Somehow he's all America. Um... Yeah, customer, huh? So you were the customer when it happened? you were the customer when it happened? Pupil. I was with a pupil. I run a school, (laughs) not a vegetable stand. And yes, I was. Until I dismissed her 20 minutes early. All the ruckus made concentration impossible. So I, would someone want the inn shut down? As in, to make sure that there wasn't a guest there? Like the clock is in a spare room or something? So we don't know which clock this is yet, do we? Hmm. How are you going to Emily and her guardian Jane? To eat at the inn? How well do you How like? well do you get along with Emily and her guardian Jane? <laughs> Very well, as far as I'm concerned. But as far as they're concerned, well, the fact that Josiah left everything to me made some people around here, including Emily and now this Jane Willoughby, very bitter. It hurts me, of course, but it's human nature, I suppose. Uh, well, and how did you meet Josiah Crowley? Hmm. Oh, do you know what's in the carriage house that's out back? Josiah Crowley. Oh, no. When and how did you meet Josiah Crowley? Last summer, while on my way to the university for a conference, I stopped for a bite at the Lilac Inn. Since it was crowded and I was in a hurry, I agreed to share a table with an elderly gentleman who, like me, was by himself. As soon as I told Mr. Crowley who I was and what I did, well, he insisted that I give him a training session that very afternoon and was so thrilled with his progress that he demanded I stay and teach him everything I knew. Okay, sure. Top one? Yeah. So it was his so idea? It was his idea that you set up your school in his house? Oh, I know. Rumor has it that I somehow tricked him into it, that I insinuated my way into his home. But I assure you that was not the case. Were you surprised when you found out that Josiah had left you everything? What? He had? You yes. mean I didn't need to surprised steal it? Uh, I mean, not mm. really. Josiah was all alone, you see, surrounded by people like the Crandalls and that banker, Jim Archer. People who were nice to him only Mm. because they knew he had money. Mmm. He's on the dry up. Uh, would it be okay if I look around? He's on the dull up and dry up. Go right ahead. The place is more like a museum than a house. Josiah was a man of many, many interests. I'll be right here if you have any questions. Okay, let's have a look around. What do you do with these? I put them on the windshields of cars parked in the area. To discover and develop your psychic potential. Cars at the Lilac Inn? All the time. Call or visit Richard Topham, certified parapsychologist. That fire today was as unfortunate for me as it was for Miss Graham. Interesting. That is interesting. Give me one. Oh, it's a little, uh, it's a, it's a grimy graph. I'm a book clown and I love to jump and I jump and I jump and I jump. Alright, thank you. Cat's making noise again. Cat is making noise again. Where's your toy cat? Oh wow, okay, so he just really liked the circus or the fair. What a weird old man. He really liked a lot of things. A hat. Ah, that's a door. Hello. <laughs> Putting psychics to work in the modern nope. world. No. Nope. Sorry, putting psychics. No. How's that? Uh, no. Putting physics. <laughs> Phys- it says 
physics. Never mind. I'm okay. I think reading that as psychics is very reasonable given the current context in which I found that book. In which I found that book. So, William, okay. Are you going to trust this man? <laughs> His name is Crooks and he looks like the devil. A radiometer is a device which measures the intensity of heat and light. That is radiant Nikon. energy. In 1873, tubes? so... Uh, is that a thing that's still using it? Is it tubes? Hmm. Well, he developed a special kind of radiometer in which four square veins were mounted on the two arms of a small mo rotor inside a clear glass bulb. And most of the air was pumped out of the bulb, was already in the vacuum, and the rotor was bound to the vertical support, which allowed it to amount of friction. And each of the veins was black on one side and silver on the other. Nice. Like this. Radiometer. Veins resolve and the rotor experience the light pushing by seven may appear because the light is applying pressure to the veins. This is meant to be very much to call the question. Dark is the other side of the pressure. Like actually apply the pressure to the side of the veins. The other side blah, blah, blah. Uh, so the principle had to be at work. That's kind of interesting, actually. Another thing proposed that because the black surface absorbed radiant energy, rarefied gas on the black side of the vein would heat up and eventually apply enough pressure to the vein to make it spin. But the fact that the warmer gas simply expands and flows across the surface instead of pushing it just proves that it's still like More likely the potential involves thermal transpiration, or the flow of cooler gas molecules towards warmer molecules, which cause the cooler gas on the shiny side of the vein to pass around the edges towards the warm black side, and which results counterintuitively in the vein moving away from the warmer gas towards the cooler gas. The radiometer is sometimes referred to as a light mill because light is used to turn the vein much as water is used to turn a mill. It is doubtful, however, that the movement of the veins can ever be put to such practical use for the friction needed to turn the gear to prevent the veins from spinning when exposed to light. That's what you think! Depends on what you do with the light first, pea brain! Interesting. Interesting. So he was trying to create perpetual motion. Gotcha. He was. Alright, I'm sure that'll be handy. Alright, you liked instruments. Okay. The man on stage in this picture, is that Josiah? Is that yes, that's from a production of a Also, wow, Puck was and started. like 70? Closed after two I haven't nights. seen that. I mean, he directed and started yeah, that, so Aww. he just wanted to play Puck. Aww. If we shadows have offended. But this and all is mended. That you have just slumbered here while something and something did appear. I'm sorry. I never actually studied Midsummer, so I never memorized any. What else we got? We got a man going Wahey! A little trumpet. Or a corn cornet. Or a bugle rather. Ooh. What was this? As you soon realize, Josiah's mental faculties were starting to go, I'm afraid. He oh, you plan. mean they're all Very puzzles? What, makes sense. what are you when you win, Barbara? Oh, lock on the carriage house. What poet is the cat's meow? What will para my miniature golf course get you? What's Gloria's middle name? Okay, hold on, hold on. So those are the four What are you when you win Bard Bounce? You're keen. You are keen. So that'll be K, I guess. Uh, what poet is okay, the Okay, that was what was his name? Poet. Oh, um, Omar. Cool. Oh, I forget his last name. Yeah, Omar Gibra. I can look it up. It was a real book. Pa on his mini golf. Okay. And not Khalil Gibran. It was Omar Kayam. So O or K. Okay. Wrote to the Rubaiyat. What part, what will part on my miniature golf course get you? Well, we don't know. We haven't seen his miniature golf course. And what is Gloria's middle name? Love it. Gloria Love It? Yep. Uh, Keep going. Right. Are there more? The Crowley Roads to Sora. Becoder is in the rivet. Two to the right. Well, we've done this. Took top of the intelligence test. Answer fall down. Yeah, that should be a cinch. Get new typewriter ribbon. To open journal. TikTok, tickety 300. Everybody, let's wake up. I'm a snake. To open journal, Bacoda is in the rivet. Two to the right. Okay. 
Oh. Can you... Is that the only thing that's misspelled? Well, Bakoda is. And so is Rivet. I mean, maybe Bakoda is just what he meant. Well, that is two to the right, right? So that would be Decoder. D. And Rivet... I mean, if you that could be Triv... T. Like, TT wouldn't be a reasonable either, but if you do some... Hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Bakoda is in the rivet. Now you have a go, please. He's doing this because I can't roll my eyes. Please, have a go. Bakoda is in the... R <laughs> <laughs> rivet. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Hold on, wait. Let's do it this way. Hold on, wait. Now you, you get ready and I'll jump in. So you just... Bakoda is in the... <laughs> If it's... There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, because it's in the rivet. Okay. okay. Um, two to the right. Well, so, yeah, yeah, I'm supposed to know what rivet is, but maybe not. Seamless. Exactly. It's perfect. CC whereabouts? Room off tunnel by scrambled picture. Oh, okay. So there's a... Oh, look at that thing. Oh, so that's his little light bulb. Mm. Tesla coil invented in 1891 by Nikola Tesla. Fascinating. To open the big TikTok on top, give flutes, Thisbe, and Pyramus their quiz. Okay. Q's, comma. Q's. Bottom's Q is in note to glory. Okay, okay. Okay. Thisbe and open Pyramus. Open TikTok. I assume there's a big clock somewhere on top. Ew. Corn chip whereabouts, exactly. Who's flute? Also, that's not the spelling of Pyramus and Thisbe that I'm used to. No, who are Pyramus it's and changed Thisbe? changed since this day. Uh, they come up briefly in our next uh, See This Podcast episode that you play tested. They are the forerunners of Romeo and Juliet. Ah, cool. Would they, would they, do they come up in their episode? Yeah. Which episode? It's... Oh, yeah, okay. Can't give spoilers yet. Spoilers. That episode's not going to come out for ages. Uh, uh, bottom's Q is in Note to Gloria. Okay, next page. Yep. Poem on the golf course sounds like numbers to me. And there's an elephant chew and a plane plingus. And buy carousel horse from Sheldon. Something interesting about the carousel horse captain's cove that's cc um i've already forgotten where he said cc uh, the corn chip whereabouts ah. uh all right ready yep book oh yeah we know that oh and then these oh, okay one of those bird oh and a note a note it looks like josiah lent a trivet to someone but i can't okay is trivet, a trivet is a okay, thing trivet what the heck's a trivet trivet nineteen twenty nine. Dear, here's the trivet I saved you, your party at Tenems. Please take, I will want it back someday. Your friend Josak. Why does he have a thing about pressing the same letters a lot? Well, he did say he needed a new typewriter ribbon. But yeah, maybe the, the doubled letters are... But I mean, he's done that in his handwriting as well. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's interesting. Maybe that's Deca. Maybe. Double letter. Mm. The first one you move up by two, like in Rivet, becomes Trivet. Trivets. I used to cook over an outdoor fire. Ah, oh, so there's... What do you call this? I don't know. Trivets? I think I was trying to say, like, a mini spit. I guess. All right. Yeah, so maybe that's, like, Deca. Uh, Heter is the trivet. I, I mean, that's just... Uh, I see a to you. Yeah, I'm not really sure. All right. Well, so I'm pretty sure that the location was Twillin Elms. All right. Yeah, that's okay. That was a lot of useful information. A lot of useful information. All right, robot. <laughs> Spin his bow tie. No, let's just turn him on. That is the scariest goddamn thing I've seen. 
Now, I can't work out. Obviously, the robot rub, 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 is rub. going, rum, 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 rum. But is the oh, oh, part of the robot? Or is that Nancy Drew freaking out when the robot starts? I going? thought it was the cat screaming. Well, let's listen one more time. I think it's Nancy Drew going, oh my god. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. A trivet is an object placed between a serving dish and bowl and a dining table to protect it from heat damage. Okay, so it's a sheet of porcelain. Or it's whatever. something. Okay, this seems like a weird that thing to lend out. Minutes, I'm afraid. Interesting. Should we ask him what's in the barn? Uh, that's or just... Or to look at. Oh, there's this thing. Oh, cool. I guess this... that was just a thing he wanted. Yeah, I can't look at that. Hey, cat. Steal his mouth. <laughs> was this Josiah's clock? Everything in here was yeah, Josiah's. Is this the old clock? Because it's weird. Mouse. Oh, cool! It's just a game. Clock. Okay, I see. So it's memory. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh, rude. Bell. Gear. Single gear. Cheese. Ooh, was that butterfly? Oh yeah. I don't know what that is. No, not a lie. Jeez! That wasn't this one, was it? No. Oh, hat. We finally found a hat. I did it! Keen! I played memory. Uh, is anything gonna happen now? I don't know. Thank oh. you. I wonder what this mirror is doing in here. Oh, it's got dominoes around it. Okay. All right. Where would I need a mirror? Well, I got one. I'm doing so well at this game. So they call me. I'm having fun. Nancy, Drew. Now what? Would you happen to know what Gloria Crandall's middle you name is? You psychic. I haven't the foggiest. Oh, use your powers. What's in the carriage house that's out back? Do you know? I haven't that the fuck is. workshop. Oh. I assume it Stop saying more to try to see. It was nice, it was talking, nice you. talking to you. The feeling is almost neutral. Get out of here, Peterman. Alright. Uh, let's go find his golf course. Sure. I wonder if time passes in this one. Yeah, I do. Can't hope it doesn't. Is there anywhere else to go? And there was that other path that you didn't want to take oh, on that's the bridge. True. Should I go that? I'll, I'll go that other yeah. path then. Oh, a miniature golf course! Nice. Wow. That wasn't what I expected it to look like. No, this looks like uh, something in Psychonauts. It really does. Uh, okay. To start over at any time, take a new scorecard. Don't forget to dump your old one first. Return your putter and ball when finished. That's mine, boys. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Okay, got a club. Oh, got a ball. Insert 10 cents. Got a scorecard. Let's take a peek at that. Oh, we can't take a peek at that. Mm, that's weird. Thought it would tell me what par was. Yeah. Make par for the course win a prize. Okay. Well, I haven't played the course yet. Does the golf ball tell you anything? Uh, the object of the game is to figure out the sequence of the uh, the golf oh, ball beneath the panel on the upper right. To play, move a colored ball in the bottom row to a tee in the first column to the left. There's four times all four balls have tees on them. I put a golf club and see how we... Yeah, so it's just mastermind. Sweet! Um... Blue, well, stick with the flag is correct colour and correct position. Stick is correct colour, wrong position. Order of sticks, nothing to do with order of balls in the solution. I appreciate yeah. them saying that. Okay, well, fun. Let's play. This is not mini golf, but sure. Uh, what do you want to start with? Um. One of each colour? I have no idea. Two, I don't have good mastermind two strategies. Two yellows, two reds. Alright. 
Yellow. Yellow. Red. Red? Huh? Okay. One thing is in the correct place. Alright. Now do you do like two reds, two greens or something? Or I don't know the best way to figure out which one is in the correct place. Uh, just do one red in one of those positions. And then... And then what? All blue? Sure. Yeah, I know that there are perfect strategies for this, but whatever, let's just try. Okay. So one thing is the correct colour, which can't be the red one, right? Because if the... Uh, oh, no, it could be the red one, I suppose. Yeah, and then... So, okay, no, let's... No, that can't be the red one, right? Because the red one is either going to be this one. Yeah. Because it's the same. Or... Or if, or it's got to be nothing, right? It's either got to be exactly. It's got to either be a blue flag. I have no idea why you're saying that. Well, how could the red one mm -hmm. be the correct color in the wrong place if before there were two red ones? What if the second one was the right one? Well, then we would in this one. Then we would have had. Surely that's true. Oh no! no what. Yeah. Okay, you're right. Yep. Okay. That's so I fair. say we put a red one in the second one. I think red one here. Yeah. Um. You can try the three blues again. This is probably stupid. Like this isn't efficient. But well, why don't I do two blues? I'm trying to eliminate variables. All right. Well, let's see. Good. Okay. All right. There's two. So correct. the red and one of those bottom blues is good. Okay. So we know there are no yellows. No yellows. Let's do a green up top. Sure. Uh, let's try a blue at the bottom. Sure. And a green in the middle. Okay. Oh, three of these are correct. Okay. So probably red, green, blue, right? I mean, red and blue most likely, and then one of the greens, yeah. Okay, well, let's say this green is correct All and right. put an orange on top. Sounds good. Done! Hmm, interesting. Okay. So, all same colour, then cycle between. Yeah! <laughs> I know that's got something along those lines. Uh, what did he say? Poem on golf course. I wrote the words poem on golf course. Sounds like a number, he said. Once, the, two... The moon in the sky was once heard two say, It's high time I saw this thing known as day. So the moon checked its clock and rose with the sun, And before long, it realized just what it had done. It's far too bright here, I've made a mistake. What heat, what havoc the sun can create, I want to go back. So when the dust came again, the moon rose when it should and said, Ah, tis heaven. Got it. One, two, four, two, eight, two, seven. Ah, uh, you mean Chevron. Chevron. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't want to play these again. No. No. So it's unrelated to the actual golf, I think. Can you actually go into the golf course? Yes. Oh boy. Oh, here's the total par. Course par is 21. Okay. Uh, let's do hole one. Oh, oh my god, we this just is just a mini golf play? game. Swamped in Crocs, number one. Uh, oh, 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 look at this. Oh my god, it's so classic. Oh. oh, okay, wow, you need to hit this much harder than I thought. <laughs> My turn. No, okay, you can do this first course. Woo! Alright. Hold on. Damn, part two. We're gonna start again. That's terrible. Ah, okay. Okay, where am I? You, you have to start on the mat. Do I have to click it? Yep, you click the place. But you gotta, like, problem is you can't hit hard on the first one. Like, yeah. there's just no room to hit hard. Like, that's just so weird. Yeah, it was a little weaker than I thought. Like, you want to really smash it, but you kind of can't. Yeah. Like, how do we get any harder than that? Yeah, apparently I can't. Like, that's just silly. There's got to be a way, right? <laughs> All right, Danny. No, but you're right. I cannot hit it hard. Yeah, you want to be able to smash it, but you kind of can't. Weird that you can hit it harder the further it is. Like, yeah, if I place this here, I'm just not going to be able to hit it hard. 
Oh, you're going that way. You're not going by the secret hole. It's clearly there. Oh, there's a secret hole. You're right. Well, now I just... I don't know if that is a secret hole. We'll find There's out. There's clearly a secret hole up there. Okay. Well, we're not doing well. Our hole two was a par four, so I guess they don't expect crazy um, strong hits. Oh, I really hope I get the angle right. This is just our fact-finding mission. You clearly don't want that hole. Oh, that's a block. I, d I don't know, for some reason I pictured those being printed on the ground. Uh, well, this is... Did you, did you just way do two in a row? Yeah, I did. You can do the last two. Hey, crab, you gonna eat it? You gonna eat your ball? Oh, smash it, Danny. Oh, wow. Shit, okay. Oh. Really? Mini golf's hard. I got it so right the first time, though. What, what are people saying? Game Coven just says rip. No! You gotta smash it as hard as you can. No, no I don't. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> now I gotta smash it as hard as I can. Oh no, hard as you can, smash it! Oh, this is terrible. I just wish the first hit could be hard. It's mm. so strange that they do this. Oh, perfect. Now just smash it through the middle. Through the middle? Yeah, through the middle. You fool. Why would you do this? Whoa, that did not go the way I tried to make it go, but apparently it worked. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's still more. Okay. Whee! We hit it too hard. No, what? Nancy. No, you didn't. You're fine. Why would she say? <laughs> 39 on a par 21 that's good goal why did she mock me at the very end do we do it oh yeah do we actually oh i didn't even think that we actually have to do it yeah oh no we're gonna wait par for the course to win a prize oh no <laughs> this isn't good this could take up the whole stream Do I need a new... No, I think I'm okay. Is it going to crumble? Yeah. Alright, let's try this again. Nancy, can't you just lie? So, there should be a way to hit harder to start with. But again, based on the pause, I don't think you actually need to. I think it's doable without it. Oh. Alright, part two, part two. We're good. You can do them all if you want. Yeah, I think we should take it one like one go at a time. Mm. It's one. Two. And now I'll just Oh see, I just I can't yeah. I'm gonna hit harder, but a stupid angle. Yeah. Yeah Well done. Three on a par four. This is how you play mini golf. Okay, so now you have to take the secret hole. Okay, I gotta get the secret. Yes. Not too hard, Nancy. Oh. No, too hard, Nancy. Okay, got it. Oof. Nice. Okay. Okay, I'm doing much better now. Yes, exactly. That is definitely what's making it hard for oh, us. Oh, okay, exactly. It's purely. The, oh, okay. Um. Okay, so you just don't want the first hole. The other two seemed okay. Oh, that one's tough. Getting the angle there is... And now I'm screwed, because look, I can't hit hard. I'll just smash it super hard this way. No. This okay. is the one that's killed me. Yeah, okay. We already lost power on this one. 
mega lost par on this one. Yeah. What? What is this? Ooh! What? I'm happy with this. Let's go. Yeah, you're dropping it here. You're on a journey. What is this? This is amazing. <laughs> yeah, keep going. I love it. <laughs> keep going, it's gonna ball. It's going to drop us in the parking lot. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. So we are now one over par. That's all right. I can get one over par on this one. Here we go. Mm, okay. <laughs> Lined up perfectly. Not gonna just smash it right in there. Here you go. Ready? And lined up perfectly. Okay. So I gotta get one I gotta get one under on this one. And yeah. I'll be fine. Yeah. I gotta get hole six in four. It's doable. It's doable. It's doable. It's impossible, but it's doable. What's my plan? <laughs> I don't think I have a plan. No. I'm going to give it a light whack. tap. Yeah. Oh. That would not have been my plan. Now, now I'm lined up to smash through the middle here. Okay, but smashing through the middle didn't work for me. Okay. Now one now big hit up here. And then I just gotta get it in. Oh, damn. That was right on par, wasn't it? Darn. Twenty-two. It was oh, a secret hole. I love it. Um, oh man, so close. Get out of your old scorecard. So close. Spending all our money. All our, what's 10 cents? Dimes. All our dimes on mini golf. Okay, can I, shall I play again? Oh yeah, absolutely. I got, I got this, I'm, okay, this one I'm still worried about. Hole in one, Nancy. Okay, hole in two. Part two, now this is the, this is a sneaky one. Let's. Mm. No, that's that's it. I'm I'm done. Oh, okay. Not the worst. Not the worst. I hit it too hard. You they did, did Nancy. Nancy. Went in. Okay. Don't hit it too hard. Too hard. That's okay. Okay. All right. Don't screw this one up. This is the one that where, where we can make up some time. Maybe you should just like try to aim it like straight there. Yeah, maybe. Like there. Maybe I would have put it even a little bit further over. No, the other way. Oh, too far. So it's not going to hit yeah. very hard. Oh, never mind. Okay. This is scary. Yeah. Okay, you want the middle one. Uh-huh. Is that going to be strong enough? I hit it too hard. No, you didn't, Nancy. I hope this goes in every time. It's like the scene in Gravity Falls. <laughs> we take this to take across. And... Okay, so we just gotta not screw up these last two. Well, we're currently one under par, right? Yeah. We're doing really well. Okay, okay. What's the plan here? Same as usual. Medium hit to that way, and then you're trying to get as close to that as possible. You can medium hit this way, where I can only do a medium hit, or this way, where I can hit like that angle, but I can hit 
No, I can't any hit any harder. Uh, like I get hit. Uh, hmm. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Ooh, no, that's awkward. We're gonna do a tiny hit. Okay, super tiny hit. Okay. Ooh. Too tiny. It's still awkward. Why would you make it a big angle? You know that doesn't work. Ah! <laughs> oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Playing mini golf. That's not gonna work. Ah. Oh. All right, I just need to get par on this one. I'll be fine. Mm. We're just going to get par on this one. You think there's a secret ha hole here? Can we go in the back of this tiny town house? May have been on the last one. <sighs> okay. All right, I'm going to follow my thing. Just a little chip down the down the road here. Oh, okay. Different, different. Uh, yeah. Like, is this a hill, or...? Oh, oh what?! Oh, and now I can't even hit. Nope. Well, that's done it. Come on. Come on. N N Nancy! Are you kidding really? me, Nancy?! Cool, that one's dead. Go on. <sighs> you know, it would have been fine if you hadn't screwed up the last one. <laughs> Darn. Oh, oh, you do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the bathroom quickly. You win golf. Have I you won't. You've had more practice. Oh, wow. Well. Hmm. I'm not gonna let it go. I'll be back in a second. I would. This is a waste of time. Oh, well, then I'll be back in a second. Hold on. Nope. Can't even. Oh. I can't even. Oh, too far. Awkward. Awkward. Oh, as if. Bad How hitbox. Are you going? Fine, but bad hitbox. Messed me up on this thing. Ah, oh, really? Yeah, so now I'm behind. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. It too hard. Yeah, now I'm super behind. Well, let's get out. Can we just give up? I don't know. Nope. nope. Apparently not. That hitbox was very rude. Oh, I don't know, we got like three bucks left. Nice. Can we skip this? Uh, don't, you might accidentally quit the game. True. Okay, well. So eventually we're gonna have to do this this puzzle properly, right? We're gonna have to do this this uh, golf course on par. How long do we want to keep doing this over and over again on stream? If I keep playing, do you have something interesting you could do with the chat to keep everybody entertained while no, I continue I to play don't. golf over and over again? Don't have a quiz? Don't have more puzzles that you can do? I don't know what you want from me. I do not have these things. Well, why don't you obtain them? You're a puzzle designer. Design some puzzles. All right, just don't screw this one up, and we might be able to get back on track at a start. All right, okay, I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to pay. We're going to take as much advice as we can on this one. Should I place it? Here, do you think this is good? I can hit it up. I this, would up put this. it left or a little. Here, here, here? That's what I would do. Okay, let's do that. And we're going to hit, like, here. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Hit it okay. hard. Okay, i got to hit it hard. hard. Oh, hit boxes. Okay, okay. Do you think we should do a little hit? I don't know. If you do a little hit, pause screwed. All right. So I don't think it matters, but I think it needs to be the biggest hit ever. But that's going to hit the thing, I think. See? You're going to get hitbox screwed. And that's just not going to work. Not fine. It's such a tough one. But the game is now also being mean. Alright, so I guess we should try for the secret hole in the building. 
Let's do it. I'm just gonna try it. Like we've, we we're not gonna hit par, so I'm just gonna find out if we can if there's like a secret hole in the back of this build. Oh, you could at least try, like to hit and make par. Yeah, are we sure there's a hole behind that building? Well, no, that's why we're gonna try and. No, I'm not saying we. I'm saying we as in including the chat. Because I don't know if there is. Weird rare appetite for hole. I was. Oh, you can't get it yet? Okay. What? Why? Why would that be a thing? That's not going to make it at all. No, it's really not. Sorry. Oh, Nancy! <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun with this. I hit it too hard. Nancy, that wasn't the problem. Darn. Okay, we're gonna do this. Right now. So apparently, you... Well, apparently we have an option for cheating that is not available to us yet. So it kind of seems like we shouldn't be doing this. Right, we'll come back later. It seems like it's kind of telling us wanna, not to. If you want to... If that's true. Well, it's not telling us. Someone has told us that ch per chance there's an extra hole. Uh, but yeah, we can come back later. Good, because I'm starting to just get up. Yeah, you seem that. like you hate golf now. So we'll come back. I do back. hate golf now. But we know we might be able to answer this anyway. But why? You're trying to guess. What do you, wait, what do you mean guess? Because we don't know Gloria's middle name. Oh, of course. Sorry. I was thinking about the par thing. Surely someone in this house knows Gloria's last name, right? Middle her middle name. name. We know her last name. I'm not going to ask her best friend. I'm trying. So, was Emily all right? Someone stole her mother's jewelry. <gasps> what? Did you happen to see anyone go upstairs during all the commotion that the fire caused? No. You mean someone stole it while everybody was rushing around trying to put out the fire? Hypers. Hypers is wonderful. Man, who can you trust? <laughs> Are you sure no one besides you and Emily was in the kitchen this morning? <laughs> Positive. Well, I suppose someone could have snuck in the back door. Are you saying someone caused that fire on purpose? To distract us? It's possible, don't you think? But I'm the only one who knows she had that jewelry. Well, it's not quite true. When Gloria was alive, she could have told people about it, or people may have seen her wearing it. And when she yeah. died, they knew the jewelry had to be around here somewhere, right? Does anyone in particular And you know, how about the banker? Sorry. Yeah. It's been hard enough getting to know Emily, let alone anyone else in this backwater burg. Well, guess better go call the sheriff. Okay, what do you want to Emily's mom's middle name? What was Emily's, Emily's mom's, mom's middle, middle name? name? Do, you do you remember? Of course I do. It was Oh, piffle. It's right <laughs> I thought on the it was tip piffle. Of my tongue. It was it was oh, it'll pop into this feeble brain of mine one of these days. Why don't you just go ask Emily? Uh, you want to ask anybody this list? Yeah. Uh, I'll talk to you well, later. I'll talk to you later. Alrighty, dighty. Righty, doity, doity, doity. Whose voice does she remind me of? Well, again, run Stampler a little bit. Yeah. Stud Stampler a little bit. Um, Hi, Nancy. No, definitely all wrong. What was your mother's middle, middle name? name? Lois. Why? Oh, just curious. Just so I think we can do that now. Hmm. Do you play much miniature golf on the course that's out back? Not anymore. When I was little, I used to play with Josiah. Ooh. Sometimes he'd help me get Ask far just so I could get something from the prize machine. Do you remember what you got? A little toy dog or something? <gasps> a little Very toy mouse. Made and quite forgettable, obviously. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. All right, well, let's just go try and open this bar. Yeah, sure. Oh, 
Okay, so. What were the barn clues? First one was what you are when you win Bard Bounce. Cool, I think that is... It's definitely Keen. Keen. Next one was the poet. Which we're going to say is maybe... We'll go H-A-E-C-O. Then the par. Is 21, right? Which would be U. Oh, it was only P and E. Cool, I don't remember the rest of the clue. And the last one's L, right? Presumably. Unless we're like trying to spell different words with this. Oh, yeah, we have to write. Hold on, that makes sense. Key. Nice, there we go. And then we say Omar. I don't know what we say for the par then. Because, again, I don't remember what it said. You're right, what would par be? Four. Oh, is it the prize for the par clue? Oh. Okay. Well, we'll have to probably figure that out. So Let me actually play. Oh, unless, hold on. Uh, it's, did he say, what did I win? Hello, Shut Mr. Topham. Um, because it could be this bird. Oh. Which is four letters. Uh, or this yeah. elephant, but that's not four letters. You don't mind if I look around, do you? Go right ahead. You don't have to ask every time, Nancy. We'll get the exact wording. He says... No. Uh, well, what will we'll part on my miniature golf course, course get, get you? you? Well, she said a dog. Is it a four-letter animal other than bird? Yes, there are lots of them. So maybe oh, we'll I think have we got to play. We'll just have to get par. Mm. I mean, we're also going to talk to the banker, but uh, this seems like where yeah. the game's leading us right yeah, now. Yeah, this is what I'm, I'm going to play golf. I'm going to need a golf ball and putter. Here's a putter. This one will be better. This one will be 100%. We'll get it. But in the meantime, you should have a fun game without. Why are you putting this on me? Because I'm playing golf. Hole in Ooh. one! That's a good, good start. start. Keep it up. Don't screw this one up. <laughs> That's too much pressure. What should I do? Should I bounce it off the side? Yeah, bouncing off the side is good. And then it doesn't even matter if it comes back a little bit. It's fixable. See, it's fixable. Oh, what do I do for this? I would bounce it off the top, but that's your oh, call. No, that's a good point. A little steeper angle, maybe? No, no, the other way. I think that's good. Okay. Good, and you're not going to get angle screwed. Um, hitbox screwed. Yes. Nice. Okay. I'm two under good par. Good start, good start. This is perfect. Okay. So... Just a little tap through this hole. Not too little, though. And that's good? Yeah, sure. I don't know if the angle's right, but you know better than I do. You've gotten this more. I feel you have to go a little higher than you'd think. Mm. Okay, okay. Okay, now we're up to the stupid one. So this is one where it could all fall apart. And the next one, too. Yes. For the rest of this game, it could all fall apart. Yeah. So again, I reckon go up, like, close to the right and trying to get that way. Yeah, all right. Straight up. So you think, like, here. So that's all I can hear. It's, I just can't hit it hard, you know? Yeah. It's okay. Bugger. Oh, dang it. All right. Well, that's a bit annoying, but it's okay. Because we've got it now. All right. So what are our what are our strategies for the last one? Play golf well. I think is the is the right strategy. Yeah. I for the it's, next one, it does seem to be that you have to just get it up close, perfectly in line before yeah. you do the techniques. If you've got an angle, I don't know if it's the game doesn't like the angles or if you are just exceptionally bad at the angle. <laughs> hey, don't be mean to me. Oh god, that oh, was that's a, to par be a par three. three. God. Okay, we're still one under though. I thought it was par four. Still one under, so we can do. We cool. can. So like the strategy of getting it in place is going well enough. Yeah. Okay. So let's go here. Hmm. 
hit it over the top like this. Sure. And I think maybe just a little one to get it right on place. Yeah, a little closer as well. So like here? Yeah. Oh, it's too small. I think even now a little one is a better bet. I agree, but clearly you got to make it a slightly bigger little one. All right, okay. okay. Oh, please, Nancy. Why are you angling it? I just don't know if it's lined up perfectly. That's what I was worried about. And now it's good. So what's the, yep. there's no point playing anymore. Nope. But and we, we have still to. have to, which is ridiculous. Might get a hole in one on the last one. Not that it even really matters anymore at this stage. So what are we currently? I only need four. Okay. We can get one under power, fine. Oh, I'm so sorry we have to play so much golf, everybody. Can we sneak it in around the top there? You can try, but it'll probably just bounce back. But you can try to lead it towards there. Oh, that hill is different than I thought. Okay, well, through the middle. Okay, be careful through the middle isn't great. That's okay. That's good, actually. This way? Uh, yeah, just remember that <laughs> she can just make it bounce all the way back. I hit it too hard. No, you didn't, no, Nancy. You didn't. No, you didn't, Nancy. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Yes, here we go. Here we go. How many hits do we have? One? I think so. Oh, great. I hit it too hard. Oh, Nancy! Nancy! Oh, of course, feathers. Oh, 22! Sorry, I... Oh, Jen's have, cryptic. I, I have no idea. Don't lean on me. Fine, I'll never know what the cryptic is. What is the cryptic? Oh, there. Wild, rare appetite. Weird. A oh, weird, rare appetite. Whole... So that weird implies what? Rearrange rare appetite? Is that enough letters? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Three, four, five. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to rearrange rare appetite to get... Hole. I haven't been paying attention to the whole names. No, nor have I. But it's 633. And it's chicken pesto pizza. Start again. Yep. I'll take my headphones off. I don't need them for mini golf. Here when I'm done. Oh. Yeah. Ah, right. oh, so close. Really hoping for a hole in one, hole in one, but I didn't get it. All right. Do whatever you want; it doesn't matter. Golf will never end. better since we've been following this strategy. Don't you reckon? Hmm. <laughs> nice. Ah, screwed it up. Yeah. Oh, oh, completely screwed it up. I'm 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 done. Oh, seriously? Yeah, okay. Well, I wish I could leave now. Like, once you, like, it'd be nice if once you failed, you could, like, just leave. See, this is what, this feeling right now is the irritation that I get from any repetitive game. Like Dark Souls, like Mario, things like that, and that's why I can't play them very much. The feeling that you are experiencing right now is the feeling that I get from those games. Of what, wanting to leave and start again? That feels like the opposite of the feeling you want. I don't want to start again. It's the getting annoyed because the thing that is sort of preventing you 
from getting further on is already kind of out of reach because you have to do so much other stuff beforehand. How like, annoying is this? You just can't hit this. Uh, we're just going to play this for par 70. Hiya! Yep. Well, that's why I was suggesting you do something different hard. with the chat so that things can be happening as we go. But then you're just putting pressure on me to come up with something new. Okay. Let's not play mini golf. Mess Let's go it. to town. You but seem to be absolutely hating this. So I am. We'll no, no, stop, stop, stop. I am absolutely hating this. So we'll go to something but else. We have to get it done. Eventually, yeah. No, that's ridiculous. We're one step away from being able to solve a puzzle. <laughs> All we got to do is this. I, I'm just saying, if there's other stuff you want to do, we can do it. But there isn't. This is why Jen gave you a cryptic clue. Yeah, exactly. Solve the cryptic. No, you left. You're going to have to get a new bat and ball. You know, bat and ball. Bat and ball. A bat and ball. It's a nice cake, a bat and ball cake. Yeah, I, I looked at like two whole names and neither of them had a P in them. But I know there are things that have the word pirate in them, so it's probably one of those. Pirate C. I'm too flustered for, for, for stuff. It's Swamped in Crocs. Yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, there's heaps of other stuff we can do. Danny just wants to but talk to us. But we are currently stuff. three quarters of the way through a puzzle. It feels silly to not get the fourth quarter. Nice. I can imagine if you get that a hole in two. I literally don't know if that's possible with the computer issue. With the screen hitting distance. That looks good. Alright, playing okay. This is this can be this the make or break hole. But it generally hasn't been. Oh, can we get that in one or is that gonna hit the side here? It might hit the side there. Oh, come on, Nancy. Did you see that? Pause ruined. Ah, uh, what one was that called? Skyrail Inc. It's gotta be the next one, right? Next one was Pirate. That's a par three, it's so mean. Pirate party! Pirate party! That looks right. Survivor's on tomorrow, mm -hmm. says Cave Goblin. That's true, I'm looking forward to that. Managed to avoid any TV spoilers. Have you, like, I know people have been talking about like, not having TVs. Oh boy, are the promos awful spoilers. So remember, a little harder than you expect. Yeah, this is hard to tell whether you're going to get angle screwed. Uh, yeah, like last week, I turned on the TV five minutes, like not even five minutes. Like I turned it on just so that I could change the channel so that it was on the computer channel. And whatever was on TV at the time had a promo-y spoiler thing in the corner. So all I had to do was read those words and get slightly spoiled. Turns out it wasn't, it was just being mean but still oh come on now nah. well we're one under coming into this oh really so i can hit if, six okay if you can get it on this hit then you're fine i hit it too hard i don't know why you like angling it as much as you do well i didn't usually but I've noticed that when you hit, oh, screw now. I've noticed that when you hit straight, it always, I know, 
I notice when you hit straight, it comes down and it ends up down here. So I'm trying to hit up so that it hopefully angle back. Which is that one moment when it went over the hole, I hit it too having hard. hit it too hard, was with an angle that was up. So I've only done it on the last two goes. Missed it. So it's not something I'm doing every time, but I was trying out as a new strategy, especially when you want to get it in one. <sighs> I understand that it's boring for you. You're not even doing it. I'm in. I'm. I'm fine. Yeah, Josiah. He came up with that shot. The, that railroad track just for the ball's enjoyment. I can't do this. I've, I've got to walk away from it. Oh, okay, yeah, thank you. What? <laughs> Sorry, you just smashed, uh, you knocked my arm out of the way, so we failed again. Uh, cool, I would like to quit this golf course so I can actually do the other stuff. Like, it's weird, Danny, that you're both the person who doesn't want to do this and the one insisting that we continue doing it. Because I'm perfectly happy to move on to the other parts of the game. <laughs> you don't want to do it. I don't understand. I want it done. I just don't like the functionality. <laughs> oh, I wonder if there's any way to get that as a hole in one. Oh, is there... Can I do that now? No. Okay, hold on. What? Apparently there is a leave course button. Oh. But only when you're between courses. Okay, that I makes hit it too better. hard. That makes everything better? Yes. Why would you go for that one? I mean, we're just to see what happens. Yeah, that's why I didn't end up aiming for it. I realised what happened. Well, it's a solo stream now. Of course, the giant thing this is leave course. Alright. Well, it's good. Now we can quit if we ever fail, so we don't have to get to the end worried about making up time. That is good to know. Thank you for that. Let's do it. Hole one. We're going to get a hole in one. Legitimately, actually, we can try for a hole in one every time. I can practice some new strats. Don't have to be as concerned. Hole in one. Brilliant. Okay. Hole two. We've got to get a hole in at least three. Eventually we will run out of funds, that is true. Boom. Boom. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. Alright, gotta get this in. Alright, we're trying to par. That's good. I wonder if you can... Can I save my game mid-golf? I'm going to save a game called Mid-Golf. And if I can load Mid-Golf, then we're, then we're pretty happy. Alright, hole three. Save Scummy, exactly. Okay, here we go. Hole four. Oh, wait, we did another good hole. I'm just going to... The save of a mid golf. All right, okay. Here we go. Hole four. Gotta get par three. Let's try it out. Let's hit right there. Here. Here. <laughs> We should feel good about it. We've played enough golf. Besides, look, I won't even need to use it. It's just a safety net. It's a safety net for the entertainment of our viewers. And I, for one, value you. Now, I know maybe you're saying I should care more about myself than about you, but I care about you, and so I'm going to save Scum. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay, we hit par on that one. I'm pretty happy with that. That's... Oh, no, wait. No, we hit under par? No, I can't remember. Yeah, right on this one. Load and save. Yep, save again. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. All right, here we go. Hole five. Par five. This is it. This is where we're going to need to reload our game. Unless I get it perfectly. And then we can take turns. One. Bang. Oh! Look at this. Got up there in two. Okay, we are. I got three on hole five. I'm not going to need to save. This is amazing. See, as soon as you set up all these safety nets, you don't need them. That's how the game works. It doesn't want me to cheat. And now that it knows I'm going to cheat, it's giving me an old Taskmaster episode, then play mini golf with eggs. Oh, that is, that is disastrous. Okay, so we can get nine on this last putt hole and still be, under, on, still be on par. Okay. Here we go. I still don't have a good strategy for this one. Alright, let's do a small hit. Oh man, that roll. Okay. That's the best hit I can do from there. Okay, okay. I hit it too hard. No, you didn't, Nancy. Believe in yourself, believe in yourself. Yes, here we go, here we go. Oh, damn. Oh, what? There we go. There we go. I got eight on hole six, so just, just enough. But I didn't need it. See, we didn't need okay. to save Scar. We're fine. Okay, I'm come back now. Scott, oh, now you're back. Oh, now yep. you're back. You know what? You haven't earned your place back on this street. Yep. I don't care. My head still hurts. Horse. That's unhelpful. That's hard. How how is horse the answer? Maybe I don't want doll. Colt foal. Uh, well, let's try some horse words. All right, so. Oh, we've already done the first two. That's nice. Uh, okay. Okay, I don't understand. I don't know. Is there a picture of a horse in his... Thing and it oh, had a maybe. name. Well, Red H is not the answer. Maybe let's, let's check his house for a picture of a horse. Oh, uh, the the carousel one. Mhm. Mm oh yeah. He what do we about know about the carousel? carousel? Maybe that gives us the name of a horse. Sure. Well, let's look at the. Hi, Mr. Topham. Or mare could be good actually if. I'd... All right, let's just. Is it okay if I look around? Certainly. Okay, let's have a look. No, this is carousel horse. This doesn't mention anything about a horse. Okay. Could be mare, I suppose. Could be. Was Mayor an option? O T L R I didn't think of K P. Uh. What does that mean? So could it start with T? Start with anything, Horse. apparently. Ross? Ross? I 
okay, okay, so let's assume that there is some way, some other way that we can actually get this. I mean, there's the whole add two, like, go up by two for the first letter of things. That seems like a weird too many codes at once. But it also doesn't make sense when all we've got at the moment is horse. Hello, Mr. Drew. Hi, Mr. Topham. Look this horse. Yeah, the third one was the prize. Um, no, no Y in the last one. Oh, sorry, was there a Y? Oh, you're thinking pony. Oh, pony! That's a four-letter word for horses that starts with P. Yeah, but a horse isn't a pony. That's bad. I was trying to think of any horse word that started with one of those letters. Okay, here we go, here we go. Let's, I'm just going to assume it's pony. Here we go. P. Oh. N. E. Pony. Okay. Nice. Good get, everybody. Good work, Ooh. Goblin. Good work, Danny. All right, last one, Lois. Good work, Bill. We did it. Give me gold. I don't think I would have gotten that on my own. Pony. Yeah. To me, a pony and a horse are not the same thing. Or well, who knows? Maybe this is a pony. Look at it. That's not it's a pony. It's clearly a horse. Oh, he's got a big mouse. Big they mouse, existed in the thirties. No. <laughs> Take me to the river. Got me in the water. Ooh, a freshwater. A fish. pony is not just a small horse. It's a pony. Ponies are freshwater inbred. Fish. Stumpy oh. horse Nibbler. varieties. Bulgur pond fish like yellow perch, shallow water minnows, walleye, deep clear water earth earthworm, red ear, deep clear water grubs, small mouth bass, grass bed grubs, large mouth baths, grass bed minnows, catfish, rocky water earthworm. We get to take this. Hold on. Oh no! I think I just turned it over. Okay. Um, I think we should come back once we find a fish type we need to deal with rather than trying yeah, to write yeah, all this down. Sure. I'll just write that that is in the barn. Ooh, it's an old clock. Oh. Ooh. Moon cycles. Okay. I mean, this has to do with that poem, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. Like, what can you click on? Okay, great, great, great. great oh, great. okay, so I can do the okay, times. Okay, so on one. Clock. Okay, um, but hold on, let's, okay, and then maybe I click this, Yeah. one, two, two, four, four, two, gosh, one, <laughs> okay, go there, two, yeah, eight, Eight. Two. Seven. Haha, I had a ding a ding. Ooh, I'm another more mirror. mirror thing? Okay. Yeah, two mirrors now. Do I have to bounce a laser back and forth? Maybe, that would be fun. Okay. We're doing so many puzzles. Oh, this has. Dominoes. Mm. That's the mirrors. Oh, or do we still have to play dominoes? How do you play dominoes? Can I play dominoes? But how do you play dominoes? I, I want to replace that. Why? Sorry. Oh. Well, do you have to don't can't. you have to match up a five to a five? Yeah, I'm trying to. But... Here's a five. I wanted to figure out how to place them. Because I did that. But now the other one is just... Disappeared? That's weird. Yeah. Unless I can, like, put them over here. Yes. Ah, okay. Here we go. Alright. 
I see it. Only one, two. You know what? Let's just put a couple over there. Can you put them anywhere? Can you just put them like right next to it? Oh, yeah, cool. Okay. Okay. Then we need a six. That seems to be our only option for a six. Yeah, so far our options are limited, which is a little scary. Yeah, there's that one. Uh, there's that one goes to a four. That one goes to here. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Nice. Oh, it turned into a level. Oh, what have we done? Oh, we've opened Laser some light. Puzzle. Laser puzzle. Ha, ah, you think I can't? Okay, hold on. Oh, so that went to some mirror up here, and then it went to this corner over here. Okay, okay. So let's stick a Domino's mirror on that. Oh, I can't get it out. That's cool. Don't need to. And then we we don't know where we want we, the last one. Yeah. So let's. Uh, Oh here, here's what we want last one. I wonder what goes here. It's this mirror. Okay. Let's do it. Bonk. Bink. Looks like I need more mirrors. Oh, I've done the mirrors wrong, so there must be another mirror. Okay. Over here. Okay, so I need at least one more mirror. So there's gonna be Ooh, another puzzle to solve for a mirror. By that I mean a lock. Alright, cool. So I don't think this big mouth really bass. Guess not. Okay, so there's one more mirror to find. Unless there's a puzzle we missed in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Secret of the old mirror. Oh no, another mirror. I wonder what okay. goes here. So there's four, there's two more mirrors. Sweet. We can do that. Sweet. Okay, awesome. Now what time is it? 107. Okay, we'll probably have to end the stream at 2. We so we've got another 50 minutes. So two. 2 we're going to end the stream because we have to go out to a lunch. Um, so that will be it. So do you want to head into town then? Yes. Now it feels like we must. Now we're allowed to. Here we go. Maybe the trivet that he lent out is another mirror. Trivet's definitely going to be a mirror. And maybe something about that horse as well, the carousel horse. Maybe. Or he's finding his perpetual motion device. <laughs> oh no, no, that's what that's what we're going to set off. He says it, it matters what you do to the light first. So the fact we're bouncing the light off all these mirrors, we're going to hit a perpetual motion machine, it's going to perpetuate, and it's going to turn into gold. That seems fair. Oh, I dropped my pen! That seems fair. There you go. Uh, let's jump in the car. Yeah, let's do it. Let's jump in the car. Should we, we... We get to decide where we're going, nope, right? we're just leaving. Second chance. That car I saw before is gone. Oh. Oh, yes. Yeah, so oh, my God. What is this? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, I love it. Do, do. do we want to go to the Blenheim Nursery? We do not need to go to the Blenheim Nursery. Uh, we're doing... Need to go. Okay, that's Blenheim Nursery. Uh, we want to go to Blenheim. Waddle Jewelry, Tubby Telegrams, or the Main Street Bank. Do you want to go to Tubby Telegrams? A little bit. All right, so we want to go up the... right. Let's take the school diagonal road. Right again. Hold on, wait. Tubby. I've lost the what place to get your car fixed. Wasn't that there? It just says Zippy Gas, but yeah, oh, Zippy there gas. it is. Car. Let's go to Toby Telegram, shall we? Yeah, okay. I mean, we can go past the jewelry store. Okay. And the bank. Oh, pothole, get out of here. Oh, oh no, you don't, pothole. Yeah, don't See go for that. Okay, you want to go this way. There's Waddle Jewelry. We can pull into Waddle Jewelry we while can. we're here. Hello, are you Mr. Waddell? So what if I am? I found this receipt, and I just <laughs> oh, you can drive what you with our keys. Let me see that. <laughs> German resale value, item 493. Jim Archer, oh, yeah. okay. This was for that key Jim Archer wanted me to appraise. Good to know. He's such a thief. Jim Archer wanted you to appraise a key? It was very ornate. Mm -hmm. It had jewels all over it. Fake jewels, as it turned out. When I told him I it was worthless, it. the cheapskate refused to pay me and told me to keep it. Do you Ooh, think I could give me it? the key. Sure. Once you pay the appraisal fee. A dollar and fifty cents? A dollar and fifty cents. <sighs> Here you go. Extortion it. Right, here's the key. Enjoy. Don't know what I'm going to do when I run out of money. It's gotta be a money-making minigame, right? Wait, it sounds like I can... Oh, 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 yes! 
God, computer games are the best things in the world. Oh, oh Main Street Bank. So we go to Main Street Bank? Sure. Hello, I'm looking for Jim Archer. Right through that. What do you reckon he looks like? That Aww. is not what I expected. He looks Hello. so lovely. Are you Nancy Drew? He can't be a thief. Look at him. Look at his rosy cheeks. He's some sort of no man. Yes. Are you Mr. Archer? Yes, yes. ma'am. Jim Archer. Aww. Founder, president, manager, and just about everything else you can name when it comes to this fine enterprise. Did Emily tell you why I'm here? I'm falling for the rosy coming, cheeks, Jim. Deal with it. If I would talk to you. Terrible thing, losing her mother like that, then being saddled with that restaurant, especially now. What do you mean? Ever since the stock market crashed, one business after He's another succeeding, has closed, Jen. including banks. President Hoover. It has been a matter of months. Recovery is just around the corner, but you have to wonder. Some people say we're headed for a depression. Well, that kind of pessimism is not only misguided; it's pointless. Thinking ahead and taking action—that's what we businessmen should be doing right now. And one of my I'm tutoring students is studying uh, the stock market crash. Excuse me. Right now. Main Street Bank, Jim Archer uh, speaking. This hits home. This hurts. No, I don't. I'm sorry, but yes, I know. But all right, then just bring it by. Don't ask who that was, Nancy. Oh, you're so sad. Oh, no, it's happy again. How can I help you? That is why we came. Do you happen to know whether the jewelry Emily, Emily inherited, inherited from, from her mother, mother was insured? insured? Well, I know for a fact that it was not. Why? Because someone snuck into the inn today and stole it. Oh, no. <laughs> I heard there had been a fire in the kitchen, but when it rains, it pours, doesn't it? I told Gloria mm. not to let that policy lapse. So she did have insurance. Why did she let it lapse? She felt that since Josiah Crowley would be leaving her a large sum Ugh. of money when he died, or so she thought, paying to insure her jewelry just wasn't necessary. How well did you know Josiah Crowley? Well enough for him to name me executor of his oh, will. Oh, okay. An executor is the person who makes sure the terms of a will are mm, carried out. I've got to say, now I think it's rosy cheeks. It's rosy cheeks are a trick. That was just trying to lure us into a false sense of security and put our guard down. Why didn't anybody Why? warn us about this? Because he's the executive of his will. So? He's, he conspired, he co conspired with Topham to get the money from Josiah. But see, I don't think any of that's true. He left us a clock. The clock is clearly full of riches. Like he, oh, like did he, he leave did us a clock? Right I missed thing. that. He left the in the clock. Oh, he left them the clock? I forgot this. Seriously? Yeah, I remember someone mentioning a clock. But I, yes. think I was making a joke. No. I was talking to the chat at the time. Em Emily said, oh no, it was terrible. All he, we thought he was going to leave us so much money and all he left us was a clock and he winked and said, time will tell. Oh, okay, cool. And well, then, then yeah, he didn't mind. leave us money. He left you a million dollars. That clock's full of gold. Did he leave Did you he anything? Did you anything? Just this clock. He'd given me the impression that I would be well taken care of when he passed on too. But when I finally read his will, it all went to top him. And it was written in this you weird... You got given the key! It was written in some... Oh, he did get given the key. It was written in some strange handwriting. Seriously. He left them all a piece. Topham gets the... the house. They got the clock. He, he got the, the key. key. You guys are just too stupid to understand how nice he was. Where did Josiah keep his will? He'd hidden it in a chest of drawers in his house. It yeah. took me months to find it. When he named me executor, he said he'd tell me where it was hidden when the time was right. Whatever that meant. <sighs> no, I don't think it's a fake will. How did he die? How did you know die? He was stabbed by a he top hat. He was sitting in the public library reading when apparently <laughs> his heart just decided it was time to stop. What was he reading? His favorite book, The Makeup Secrets of Lon Chaney. Okay. Should I read that? <laughs> Right, I mean, you mean write, write it down? Yes. Both. <laughs> so 
Is Lon Chaney a real person? That sounds like a real name. You're thinking of Dick Chaney. I'm really not. Uh, how old do you know Jane how Willoughby? How well do you know Jane Willoughby? You know, Emily's guardian? Not well at all. Met her once or twice. Seemed a little... She's a flighty flighty. broad. <laughs> what did she call herself? A dumb duck? No, oh no, what did she call herself? It wasn't a dumb duck. It was a... It was a, a droopy drambus. It was... Oh, what did she call herself? Maybe it was Dora? A dumb Dora. Oh. Do you think Emily's going to be able to run the inn by herself? Times are just too tough. If she's smart, she'll sell before the bills start piling up. I'm going to ask... The will you found in Josiah's house. Is it possible that Josiah didn't really... No, it was in his handwriting. Well, the thought that it could be a forgery did cross my mind. Writing. But an expert verified that the will had been... Who was the expert? Topham? How could you tell that it was from his typewriter? Because look at all those goddamn mistakes. But Richard oh. Topham lived in Josiah. I, I, I don't I think can't. this is true. He had access to his typewriter, and he could have copied his signature. As far as the law is concerned, the matter is closed, Miss Drew. But You're not my lawyer. But Josiah's real will is still out there. Are you sure he never gave you any clue as to where he'd hidden his will? Just this Whatever cryptic I poem. Him, he said he'd tell me when the time is right. Although, he got a safe deposit box here about three years ago. Has it been opened? Topham has tried to claim its contents, but he can't find the key. <laughs> Maybe he knows the real will could be in there. <laughs> Only he wants to destroy it. Now, Miss Drew, I wouldn't go jumping to any conclusion. Your little knees must be tired. I guess I'll be going. Nice talking to you. Well, I've got the key, so let me see the... He had the key! Well, I just found this old key. It had jewels that read out safe deposit box key owned by Josiah, but... No tag or anything, so I don't know what it could be. Hello again. I guess I'll be going. Give my best to Emily. Ooh, his first dollar. Oh, Who's this? Clara. Clara Pickford is this lonely Jim old Archer, who comes in here every once in a while. Took a shine to me for some reason. Dara. On giving me that picture. All right. I want it. Give it to me. Yeah, it sounds like she likes golf. Clock? Josiah Crowley gave oh. it to me. It stopped keeping time the minute he walked out the door. You're an idiot. Wow, you are the biggest idiot. idiot. Also, also, is that Josiah Crowley? <laughs> they said that he dressed up as women and turned up That's to people's true. parties. Maybe he just turns up and just makes pretends to be an old lady called yeah, Clara maybe. and says, "I love you, Jim Archer." Maybe, maybe that's what he does. Maybe he's just. A, maybe he hasn't died. Hey, maybe he's just transitioned his living life as a woman. You've just shown up, Badger. You're lucky. You missed the pain. It would sure be nice to be able to open this thing. I got a key right here. No, oh, but it's not the right key, apparently. Should we be paying attention to what the time is on Oh, that? yes, probably, but nah. It's like 2.20 or something. Yeah, there was a lot of mini golf. I wouldn't say ungodly. I would say exactly godly enough. Would have been better if we'd been save spamming earlier. Hello. Shh. Do you wish to check out a book? No, thank you. Really? You just got told you that it's a cool book. Well, it looked like two different times, but they also... It looked like they were reflected, I thought. Mirrors! Something I can do for you? Bull is fantastic. Well, my name's Nancy Bull is too, great. And my father Say said no that... more. You're here to pick up some papers. They're in that envelope. Thank you. You're welcome. Say... Is that your roadster out there? there? Yes, it hmm. is. Did I park somewhere I shouldn't have? No, no, it's just that my regular driver never showed up. <laughs> yes. I've got no way to deliver all these telegrams. How would you like to earn some extra cash? You mean you want me to deliver them for you? You've got a car, you're trustworthy, or at least your father thinks you are, so what do you say? <laughs> your dad thinks you're cool. Oh, this is how we make our money back. Yeah. And you might even get some tips. Okay, sure. 
Great, you're hired. Here, Wait, deliver this to Seymour out at Blenheim Nursery. Come back. Wow, they actually say Blenheim. Give you another telegram to it's America. Great. See you in a little that's while. True. Let's go to Blenheim. Well, that's ages away. Do we have anything else that we want to do here? Oh, I crashed. Uh, we go to Crawl Mice the Nails. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're right. We got nothing else we want to do here. We got a Lowood, Lowood, Lowood Academy. I like the options. I like all these places that'll probably. Whoa! Oh no! Don't hit the cow. Just don't hit the cow. There's a tight turning circle on that car. <laughs> oh. Badger, I literally storm out. You're not missing anything. Ooh, it's the telco. We go visit the telephone company. Mm. That'll be when we need to trace a call. Oh no, our gas went down a bar. Hello, I've got a telegram for, for Seymour. Seymour. Just leave it on the desk there. I'd uh, tip you, but as you can oh, see, get out my of hands here. are filthy. What are you doing? I'm trying to doll up some of my plants before this guy named Mr. Martin comes in. He's a big cheese. Oh, wow. That's full of hints. I'm hoping he... Ow! Did that full of hints. Doll you? up big it cheese. Kind of He's deliberately oh! using words that would help us solve that puzzle if we hadn't solved oh, it already. Oh, that's lovely! Isn't that cool? Little hints. Man, I've seen big cheese before. Oh, water. Where are we going? To, to get my money for that delivery. Oh. This looks like GTA 1. It does. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. <laughs> and here's your next telegram. Take this to Counselor Alice out at Camp Avondale. I don't know where that is. Let's go back to the house. You think go back to the house? You don't go to the county courthouse? Do we have any reason to? Do we have any reason to go back to the house? We've got a key. Oh, yeah. We need to find what it goes to. Where is that cow? Why do I keep going this way? Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, you're the only rich city person who can afford a car. It's great. Is that the old clock? Oh, okay. Oh, it's gonna get the bird. Side puzzle. To here, I guess. Yeah, no problem. Do you want to do this one? Um, oh, they can only go like in the direction that yeah, they're. Yeah, that's normal. It's like traffic. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, you didn't do this one. And I'll storm off. Okay, so I need that. So I need to move that. Ooh, that's three. Hmm. Okay, that's not what I wanted then. <laughs> The happy holiday. <laughs> the new old fashioned way. What? Oh, uh, no, that didn't move how I expected it to move. Sorry. No, there is no way that one can move that way. But if there's no how to move that way, this one can't move any further that way. This is permanently in the way of this, which means this can never get that way. That seems mm. not quite right. doing that just breaks everything mm -hmm. so you gotta get it out in like one step maybe unless like, yeah I mean I can do that it doesn't help mm. 
Oh yeah, then you can move the... Yeah. Doesn't help. No. I'm gonna go back. Ah. Yeah, I've had a manual version of this sort of game. But this one... Can I have a crack? I mean, of course. I'm just trying to see it's... I'm glad it's not counting how many moves you're taking. Taking the bird out really doesn't seem to have any advantage until you can get it past this point. Yeah, how interesting. Unless there's some other mechanism that they're not. But it doesn't seem that way. It doesn't seem likely. Because, yeah, that. That we can can't move unless no, there's literally no way to make the double gear move, right? I don't think there is. Oh, unless, unless huh. oh, okay, that changes things a little bit. Because then we can do this. Yeah, and then you can move it, and then it can go down. Gotcha. Move no, the other one down. Okay. Cool. Now this one back up. Yeah. Oh no. No, oh. we don't even need to. Oh. No, you can do everything. But oh yeah, right, it doesn't have to be. Okay. I'm a bird. Steal it! Oh, I got a mouse. Mirror! Okay. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. We solved the puzzle. We're the best. Could not be better. Nancy Drew has nothing on us. How All weird right, cool. this is. Cool, we can spy oh, on things oh, now. Oh, <laughs> oh, it was just caught in the thing. <gasps> what? What? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what just what is this? Guess I better not leave the lights on. Oh, what? I, I said I'd leave? I didn't want to leave. Come on. Come on, Nancy. Oh my god. I knew that. Yes, yeah, see, right? From the looks of those lanterns, I'm not the only one who's been down here recently. <laughs> Watch out for the tunnel police. <laughs> Hold your breath, Nancy. Ooh, a smash piggy bank. An old piggy bank. Take it. Well, a dollar. This piggy bank looks like it's been here for a long time. Sweet. I'll take it back. I'm happy that the things that we are taking are giving us real financial gain now. Scary. Crumpy Krimpus. Or is it just a puzzle? I think it's just a puzzle. There are too many pieces for it to be a slide puzzle. Oh, and you can write it. Okay. Yeah. Creepy's oh, we've seen this. Corner? We've seen this picture. This does look familiar. It seems to say Creepy's Corner. Oh, okay. that's CC. All right, now let's get that tree in place. Where, where's the? Oh, sorry, just because in the background. Oh, we can go for the yellow moon. That's probably easier. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, does that look like the bottom of him? This does. Nice. Cool, we've got some tombstones. Yeah. Like that looks like it might be the corner of a tombstone. In here? Yeah. Oh, yes. Nice, nice, nice. And so I guess the mausoleum thing is on the left. Yes. What's at the top of this tree? That, that looks like it. That looks right. Yeah. Well, that looked good. That looks good? No, no. the one we had it hovering over before, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, with the trees on top. Nice. Um, this will be down here somewhere. Um, the other side of the mausoleum roof is on the bottom left. Nice. There. Uh, mausoleum roof. Mausoleum. Mausoleum. Flip that. Nice. Perfect. We did it! Creepy's Mirror? corner! Mirror? Mirror, 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 Oh. Oh. Oh, that's creepy. Well, we know where we can play that. Yeah. Okay. Are we going to finish this game in one session? If we can do that after all oh. that mini goal. And will this get us to the room that he said was off limits? Could be. Said it's been used recently. This is definitely how he came in here and stole stuff, right? Sounds like Richard Top. This door must open right into his living room. Wait, who was he talking to? The cat. I want to hear what he's saying. Oh, classical really? thief room. Yep. <laughs> Don't owe Billy me. Oh, he sucked. Mr. Topham will see me. All right, we'll have to lure him out with another file. I should walk back now. Yeah, why not? Found a good reward. Oh, is there other ways to go here? No. Guess Where was that breeze coming time. from? Not sure. See, he was talking in a really loving manner, so was it his ghost girlfriend? Oh yeah, he could have a ghost girlfriend. <laughs> oh yeah, man, making photos on your own in that game would have been a lot harder. <laughs> How many times did you flush the toilet? Dark room. Are we all ready? All right, let's play Creepy's Corner. Would it be okay if I played a record? Sure. Always ask for permission. I'll never forget the night it all began. That dark, stormy, fateful night when I decided the time had come to rid the world of the creature. But it would yeah, someone gave us that tip. And to get money, I to use post to confront my arch enemy, Nick, who had recently become able to transform himself fittingly into a giant warthog. When his forest hideaway came into view, I dismounted and approached the door at the foot so I could huh. take him by surprise. Wow, this is hard to scroll properly. Mm. Can you scroll the scroll button? I was trying, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Oof. Wow! My fear that he would hear me proved groundless, for a terrible storm began to rage, washing away the sound <laughs> of my footsteps. I, I peered through the red streaked window. His front door and could see him I, I, I feel like we should be taking fire. notes, but... He had returned to human form. But the malicious smile <laughs> on his face suggested that he was recalling his recent poor sign exploits. Seeing that the door was unlocked, I hurled it open. And 
marched across the room toward him. Step away from that bottle of wart potion, <laughs> I commanded, and give me the 20 gold coins you stole from my poor servant. I'm not going to give you a thing, save perhaps a taste of my sword. <gasps> and with that, he drew his sword. This is the best thing in the world. I had drawn mine, <laughs> and so commenced That's a good the idea. fiercest sword fight the world had ever known. The storm raging outside paled in comparison to our battle. To my surprise, Nick's experiences as a lower life form seemed to have improved his skill as a swordsman. I fainted, I panicked, and yet, yet victory, victory eluded, eluded me. This is the best thing you've ever heard. This is pure radio drama. Summoning every ounce of what little energy remained in my body, I lunged at him one last desperate time. Ouch! Why you wounded? Ouch. Why you wounded me? That was like a strong bad I character. I managed to wound him on his right arm, just above the Ooh, right arm, just above like the elbow. His words, punctuated as they were by an untimely clap of thunder sent a shiver down my spine. <laughs> Save your breath, I intoned, and give me those gold coins. Here, take your precious coins. He tossed the bag of coins onto a chair, but as I reached for them, he reached for his bottle of potion, and in a matter of seconds, <laughs> the night had gone from bad to horrible. <gasps> Uh, that was the best thing we've ever done. Cool, so I wrote down a couple of key facts. 20 gold, right arm just above elbow, warthog neck. That seemed to be the main crux of that. Yes. Can we sew something? If she doesn't know how to sew, how could we? Nancy Drew knows everything. Okay. I mean, they're showing us this, so it's going to open at some point, just not at a point that's in our control. Mm. All right, so where do we go next? I don't know. Topham House's hat? Topham Hat's house? Maybe. Fat Controller's house? Oh, another clock. What do I need to say? Oh, Nancy, I'm afraid mm -hmm. there's been more trouble. Ooh. Trouble? It's Emily. She... Oh, this is silly. I'm her guardian. I should just make her sell this place. She's only 17, for Pete's sakes. She should be out meeting boys and going to parties, not trying to run a business. Miss Willoughby, what happened? Just go ask her. Yeah. And make her tell you everything. Alright, what happened, Miss Willoughby? Jane told you, didn't she? What happened? That picture on the wall over there? I saw it move. I was just sitting here and it moved all by itself. I saw it move. I really did. Last week, a book fell off the shelf for no reason. And before that, I heard these weird noises. And almost every day I hear a Did you know that you have a not particularly well concealed tunnel in your house? Yeah. Its nerves, but I, I yeah, I think it's the tunnel. This. Did you see Jim Archer? I'm afraid I don't have very good news. The jewelry wasn't insured? No, but I do have some good news, sort of. Shh! Did you hear that? Hear what? Shh! Nothing. I'm going to have to sell the inn, aren't I? You know, it's possible. Just oh, possible come on, Janet. The will uh, that was Nancy. Was not the will Josiah wrote. You mean he? Yeah, I think it's yes, absolutely the will. But no, on our search for a real thinking. will, and I we'll find the note that explains the will. Because they'll probably just get dashed again. Listen, I feel bad enough that you drove all the way out here for nothing. Maybe you should just go home. Would you mind if I stayed for a while? No, but I really we, we don't tried. No. It's right easy to miss nothing things, but you definitely do. tried. Yeah, I'll try it again. Uh, do you want to ask about this? 
I would like to see if Josiah hit a second will somewhere. Yeah. I'd like to see if Josiah hit a second will somewhere. <laughs> what are you? Some kind of Sam Spade? Who's Sam well, Spade? Some kind of Nancy I Drew? Solved a mystery before doesn't mean I can. Oh, that's right. This is the anyway, first mystery. There's no, no harm in trying, right? Who knows? I might turn out to be good at it. Be my guest. Is the clock in the parlor the one Josiah gave you? Yes. I don't know why he gave it to us. It's never worked, and nobody can open it to find out why. Do you want me to ask these questions or should I just leave? No, ask about the key, because apparently there are multiple keys. Do you have any idea keys. where Josiah may have hidden a safe deposit yeah. box key? He could have hidden it anywhere. He always said his <gasps> favorite hiding place was right okay. under people's noses. I found it. That made a wacky noise. <laughs> I don't know if that'll make it into Did the thing, but oh boy. I can barely hear it, so. No, but he was always hiding stuff. I know. Just lean in, just lean into the microphone. He was always writing reminders to himself about how to find it. But whenever the subject of his will came up, he'd just say he was... Do you think time will tell, Danny? Do think it has something to do with time? Time will tell. Time will tell the right time to tell you about the time he, he wrote his time will? He games and fun fairs and things. He thought he was leaving you something you nice. Best. Yeah, and they were just like, we hate puzzles. We just want money. Okay, so... You are all bad people. Topham was right. Topham was right. You're all monsters. Which... All right, where's that to be painting? What could have made this picture move? I guess we'll never know. Uh, so let's go back to the co hallway, the, the, the password, just to see if there's anything we missed. I was looking, but not super yeah. intensely. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, there's a time shortage in 1930. So you got to use molasses. You use molasses <laughs> instead of time. Uh, can this just be done? I have to redo it every time. Why do you have to redo it again? Isn't this thing that unlock the... Passageway? No. No. Oh, what did this give us? A mirror piece, oh, cool. didn't it? Oh, that's right. The passageway just in here. Mm. Yeah, it was really not well hidden. Wait, how do I... We gotta go back a little. Ah. Alright, did we miss anything in these corridors? So, we got... Lanterns, lanterns. Boxes, lanterns, lanterns. We have had an entire Nancy Drew where we got lost because we couldn't get mm. through tunnels. We checked out this You know bank. what? Maybe it was Gloria. Maybe Gloria really loved puzzles and made that really clear. So had she survived, this all would have been easy. What did Creepy's Corner get us? Uh, the album. That's right. Okay, nothing here. This is where I think there could be something extra. But it doesn't seem to be. Can't see anything sneaky around here. Is that rock anything? I thought it was, but I couldn't click on it. When you turn around, you still can't click on it. Okay, so there's no like eye holes to look through that painting. Mm. Guess I better not leave the lights on. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Good time for me to sneak inside and have a quick look around. Uh, it is quarter two, so we've only got a little bit longer to go. Oh, okay. Check out his desk. Yeah, checking out his desk straight away. Yori, be quiet. You're disturbing us. Oh, oh, the mouse, the mouse, the mouse, the mouse. Gonna give this cat his stupid mouse, right? Because otherwise he's gonna keep mewling at me. I guess. I, I, I don't have the mouse. What, or, or, do I, no? Oh, am I only the horse? I don't know if animal toys are that interchangeable. Who wants the mouse, Nancy? I don't know where the mouse is. Can everybody see the mouse? There it is. All right, Yuri, I'm coming out there. No! Oh, I found this. I knew what we needed to do. What in blazes are you doing? Punch, 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 punch. 
Ugh. Sneaking around in here like a common thief, interrupting one of my sessions? I knew there was something unsavory about your phantasmic pulsations. Well, soon it will no longer be my problem. <laughs> Alright, well, we know what to do there. Uh, okay. Stop talking, please. <laughs> that was interesting. Okay. There it is. Yori, be quiet. You're disturbing us. We're not a smart cat, Yuri. He wants what do you mean? He's just been like, hey, give me my toy, please. How did his toy get over there? He threw it. Yes, he's not a smart cat. Clear your mind of all thoughts. Alright, we okay. did it. Think about nothing. Okay, let's try this again. <sighs> Ooh, was that something you could click on? Is this an option? Yeah. Should I concentrate on the puppet or the band? Either one, Mrs. Declan. Just concentrate. Mr. Declan? Yes, Mrs. Declan? Am I trying to push it or pull it? Push it. You're trying to push it, all right? I'd rather try to push it. Is that it? it? All right, then. Try to pull it. And get it to me. Mrs. Declan? Yeah, is that a sundial -y thing on the wall? It looks sort of like it, doesn't it? But it looks like there are several of them. Oh, here we go. Josiah must have circled these quotes. But yeah. Pyramus is Puck here. Thou speak'st aright, I'm the merry wanderer of the night. That's Pyramus. What? Remember he said you needed the cues for Pyramus and Thisbe and Bottom? Pyramus and Thisbe is the play that the people are performing. Oh, of course. Um, so yeah, thou speaks to write it, I am Mary Wonder of Night. That's the Pyramus one. Okay. I don't know how to write these down. Did you have the order we needed? Yeah, oh yeah. Sign Flute, Thisbe and Pyramus. We'll give them the cues, then bottom's cues, and the note to Gloria. Mary Wonder, of course. Mary Wonder is sure. Something tells me I better write down all the stuff that's circled here in my journal. Oh, she's just going to put in her journal. That's okay. Tough. Flute is fond pageant. Uh, Thisbe is Shadows of Offended. Mm -hmm. And I don't have the note to Gloria. It's okay. So yeah, bottom's cue is in the note to Gloria. And that's where I came from. Hmm. Is there anything else you wanted to do while we're in here? Felt like we got a pretty good run of it. Okay. Well, let's get out of here. Maybe we should end it there then. That's probably a good idea. All right. Well, let's figure out what we've got. Lots of st things still to do. So. I don't know exactly what our next step is going to be, but we've got lots of options available to us as bits and pieces. So we've got one more piece of mirror that we're looking to find. Yep. We know these cues, or at least most of these cues, which is to open the thing that sounded like it was saying was a clock on the roof. Oh yes, that's, that's right. That's what it sounded clock. like it was talking out. We've still got to open his journal with the trivet. Yeah. That we don't know. No, he said so something about his tribute. Has, yeah, it was lent to someone. Oh yeah, did we have the note? Did it say who it was lent to? Do we have that or? We had a note. Oh, it was in his journal. I don't know if we took it. Alright, well, let's read his journal, shall we? Guess I better not leave the lights on. I don't hear anybody. Oh, 
Maybe we don't have to recap that cat. I'm sure we do though. Yeah. yeah, we do. Okay. Yori, be quiet. You're disturbing us. I don't see this cat, this mouse. There it is. Seriously, you're get it together. Never mind a bald cat. Think about nothing save that spoon. <laughs> yes, Mrs. Jackman. Yeah, just to double check. TikTok tickety 300, everybody let's wake up. The coder is in the rivet two to the right. Off tunnel by scrambled picture. Yep, cool, we did that. Two to the top. Yeah. So that numbers to me. Yep. Like that. I cast the horse from Sheldon. Maybe we can find Sheldon. Okay. Uh, dear someone, here is the trivet I okay. see you your party at Twin Elms. So maybe we have to go to Twin Elms. Okay. Was that on our map? Possibly. Don't see Twin Elms on my mm -hmm. map. Alright, well we can look into that. But yeah, maybe knowing that, that leaves us a couple open questions. We have lots of clues, just not places to stick them yet. We've still got a key that is apparently not the key to the clock in the bank, but that feels like it would be weird if that was the safe deposit box. Mm. But we can't talk to him about the safe deposit box anymore. Alright, we got lots of questions. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you everybody for tuning in and hanging out for Nancy Drew. Uh, lovely to see some new people in the chat, uh, which is always fun. Uh, if you enjoyed this and you think it was fun, tell people about it because it really it helps. It helps more so than we can spread the word. If you, if you can all spread the word, it makes a bigger difference, right? No one likes people jumping into place and be like, hey, we have a Twitch stream. Come and talk to us. But everyone loves it when you say, hey, I found a cool Twitch stream. Go and talk to them. So that'd be great. Um, in the meantime, have a good rest of your weekend. Uh, it is Sunday, so yeah. There's a chance. I don't know when. We'll do some more streaming next week. Nancy Drew will be back again exactly the same time, 7 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Uh, Australian, Australian Eastern, Eastern. Uh, in uh, next week. So on your Saturday night, our Sunday morning. Um, <laughs> next week, we've got a few things going on, but we can probably fit in some more streaming. Uh, yeah, I've got well, more Darkest good, Dungeon so. to play. I've uh, been thinking about possibly starting... Batman, or even Arcanum. I don't know if people want to see Arcanum of Steamworks and Magic Obscura, but I could play a million goes of that game. Uh, we have a lunch to go to, yes. Uh, Danny is still setting up to do her blindfolded Pokemon stream. Shall we yep. figure out time to do that now that you've finished your uh, yeah, randomizer most of, run? Yeah, and most of the hellish work stuff is done, so I could find time Post maybe whenever. this week. Awesome. Alright, so uh, wonderful, everybody. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. Yeah, thanks so much for joining us, uh, guys. We will see you later. I have to exit this so I can get my... Actually, yeah, so I can get control of my mouse. Here I am. Coming back. Whoop, what? Oh, no. What's going on? Oh, no. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, so thank you. That was wonderful. Uh, have a good rest of your evening. Uh, and look, if there's ever anything that you think we should play, tell us. Uh, and hey, if you haven't been listening to Escape This Podcast or to Solve This Murder, go listen to both of those. Mm. Why not? Uh, all right, I think the all good. freer the game you recommend, the better. That's true. Uh, all right, lovely. Thank you, everybody. We will see you all next time. Okay.